Hey, I'm Randall Constant, and I'm Amazon Live at 9.31. Yep, this is the 323rd day in a row that I'm Amazon Live. And today is actually the 591st live stream. And today ended up being a late day. <laughs> today ended up being a late day. Again, again, I'm trying, I'm trying. The main thing is to show up every day. So let me see, let me, let me, uh... Oh, where I'm going to put this here, put the, put the drill on the side here, and I'm going to see if I can get my information into the chat before somebody else does. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. If you're on, just let, hey, let me know where you're watching from. I, I try to, I try to keep track of Who's on? Sonny, hey, I got this. You you caught me right at the right at the beginning. I'm just getting started. I'm trying to um, I'm I'm doing something a little different today. So I'm gonna see how it works out. I'm gonna jump back into the I'm gonna tip my toe back into the giveaway business for a little bit, for a little bit, and see how it works. Yeah, when you commit to 30 days in a row, that's a lot. But, but today it's going to be, see how it works. <laughs> see if I, if I jump back into it. That's what it's, uh, that's what I'm looking at. Hey, look, I, I, uh, one of the things that I was kind of thinking, I was looking, well, first of all, let me check and see how that game's doing today, today, right now. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to check. I want to see how Duke's doing. All right, Duke's beating uh, Arkansas 63 to 51. Is that going to be the way it ends up or not? I don't know. We'll see. I, I wanted to keep a close eye on it. I think some people will be, uh, I guess some people are watching it myself. Uh, there's, you know, some, uh, I would imagine some of the people that are watching this live, live stream might be watching the game too. It's a very good possibility. Anyway, I did a I did a poll earlier today. I did it for a one day poll because in a little while we're gonna know who's gone to the the final four in New Orleans this year. It's gonna be in New Orleans. Yeah, 2022 final four 2022. So I asked the question, which team do you think is gonna make it to the final four? And I'm talking about all the underdogs. I'm talking about Arkansas. Well, is Arkansas gonna make it? I don't know. They still have a shot. What is it? St. Peter's? Is it going to be them? Is it Houston? I guess not. I don't think so. I guess it's not going to be Houston. Or could it be Miami? Which one's going to upset somebody and be at the, the big show next, you know, next next week in New Orleans? Well, we'll see. That's going to happen. There's nothing I can do to stop that. Something's going to happen. They're going to actually know real soon. All right, let's see. Let me jump back. Let me jump back to my let me jump back to my live stream here. See if I can get back in. See if it'll let me in. I wonder how long it's gonna take before I lose my connection again. I wonder. I wonder. I, I just don't know. All right. Well, anyway, I'm today rainy in Seattle. What about the temperature? What's the deal with the temperature? Hey, look, um, I put the Intex pool in there because you got to start thinking about it, even though you don't want to get in the pool today because it's too cold. Like even in New or even in New Orleans, it was cool. It was cool. You still don't want to go swimming in it. if it's got a little bit of if it's slightly cool. You probably don't want to jump in the pool, but you got to start thinking about it because it's going to be hot real soon, really, really soon, right around the corner. Anyway, this Intex pool. Is an awesome pool. I wish I had it when I was a kid. I was talking to my sister a couple days ago. I asked, hey, how big was that pool that we had when we were kids? And she kind of confirmed the same kind of thing. It's about eight, it was about eight foot wide, maybe, maybe eight foot. I don't know, maybe six foot, eight foot, and it was about 15 inches deep. That's it. That's all we had. Well, but I tell you what, if we would have had this Intex pool right here that's 52 inches deep and kind of on the big side to where you could actually swim from one side to the other, man, that'd be that'd be good. So I don't know if you're if you're actually, I don't know, if you're actually seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and your parents are talking about getting a pool for the summer, I'd be happy. 
I wish I wish mine did, but no, we didn't we didn't have anything like that. That would have been great. But anyway, I put it in there. It did real well last summer for me, so I'm not waiting to the last minute to put it in there. Even though you're not thinking about swimming today, you might be thinking about swimming very soon. So start thinking about it. And then you know when you get into the peak of the summer, the prices are gonna kind of be up. Man, I tell you what, I hate to I hate to look at the prices in the store. And I and I hate to look at the gas prices. I hate to look at a lot of stuff. It's it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. I tell you, uh, got to get this thing, this uh, inflation thing's got to be turned around pretty soon. It's really not looking good. One thing I can say, if you're if you're planning on eating some bread, you might want to you might want to eat it now because uh, later on down the road, bread's going to be sky high. Did you see the price of eggs? The Easter Bunny is going to have a hard time this year. Yeah, I just I just picked up three dozen eggs and it would cost me over seven bucks, and that's at you know that's at a club store. So the price is the price is supposed to be, you know, at a club store it's supposed to be affordable, right? But um, if the market goes up, the market goes up, and that's exactly what's going on. The price of canned chicken is through the roof. I, you know, I haven't seen that yet. I that uh, I've heard that. I've heard that. You know, I. I kind of I kind of pay a close attention to the chicken that's already that didn't end up in the can. I kind of like look I love, you know, anything that's breaded, I I like that. In fact, I ate some breaded ch chicken chunks today from Tyson. I ate that today. I ate a I ate a fish stick today. <laughs> I just had one fish stick, that's all. But I mean, that's that's kind of a lot of these things are just going to get out of sight. Anyway, let me get back to that best way pool. Some people like round pools. Some people like rectangle pools. This best way pool it did well last summer too for me. It did what it did well, so I put it in there. I put both of them in there. Why not? Why not two pools? Uh, there's two different kinds. Look, even if you're not planning on getting a pool, it's pretty cool just to check it out because I think a lot of people don't think about think about Amazon when they think about getting a pool. I think some people don't think that. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Wow. $9.99 is $17.99. Wow. That is a huge jump. No, I hadn't seen that. Now, one thing I did say, one thing I did say on my Amazon, Amazon lives when the, yeah, right. Kind of when I wait, let's see, we're going way back. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. When things started taking off a little bit, the, the the I, yeah that's what it was the second wave of the the takeoff or whatever the chicken was kind of left behind whole chicken was a, actually a good uh, whole chicken was actually a good value and it stayed where it was for a while it was imp I was I was shocked I couldn't believe it but steak and baby back ribs and oh you remember when the the chicken wings took off like to the moon I mean went way up there. That's what I'm talking about. When they couldn't get, when you couldn't even get it. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't too long ago. But the whole, the price of whole chicken kind of stayed back a little bit and stayed the same price. But it, eventually it caught up and it did go up. Not as much as, you know, not as much as the chicken wings and the, uh, and the steak and the prime rib and all that kind of stuff. It really took off. Yeah, the thing is, I put this big gorilla card here, but it's not like you get. It's not like you need it to, to, uh, to use it to haul your groceries that you buy for a hundred dollars, because you don't need a. You don't need this gorilla card because this gorilla card, I think, holds a thousand, a thousand pounds of stuff. You don't get a thousand. You don't get a thousand pounds of groceries for a hundred, hundred bucks. No, not that's not going to happen. That's for sure. Anyway, I put the gorilla card in there because I have this memory thing. Because I remember when I got started in May, I got started on May first in two two thousand and twenty one when I got started, and it didn't take me long to stumble upon the gorilla card because I because I'm not the guy that's I'm not the guy that's going to go plant flowers and the I'm usually the one cutting things down. I, I'm the I'm the cutter, you know. I'm the guy that cuts things down in fact that's what i talked about yesterday about all the stuff that i cut down and trimmed and that kind of stuff so i'm not the i'm not the one that plants stuff but 
if you are, you might know you you probably knew what a gorilla cart was because I did I didn't know it. I knew it as it's a cart. I didn't know it was a gorilla cart, but I found out last I found out last summer that it's pretty popular. That they got little gorilla carts, they got medium gorilla carts, and they got big gorilla carts. And next thing you know, I'm selling a bunch of different sizes, and I'm like, wow, I'm getting the education of a lifetime because I didn't know. I didn't know because I sold food for 25 years. 45 years make that 45 years yeah 45 years so i didn't really you know i wasn't paying attention to the price of a gorilla card but last year i did and uh i have a i have a pretty good idea that uh when you get to the summertime it it uh, it, it tends to be on the you know on the on the higher side so just keep that and keep that in mind keep that in mind just keep all the stuff that you use during the summertime just kind of like look at it now and 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 if there's a big dip, take advantage of it because it's going to be a little higher this summer. Hey, look, I got a chance to try this Sun Joe. I tried the Sun Joe because, you know, I don't know. I'm 61. I never I never thought about having a pole saw. I don't know. I just never just never thought about it until last year when I was doing Amazon lives <laughs> and I discovered the pole saw from Sun Joe and I. And I thought, wow, that's pretty good. You cut that, that's an easier way to cut the cut those branches you can't reach by having a pole attached to the to the chainsaw. So anyway, I showed the video many, many a times, and I thought it I thought it was pretty cool. So this summer, hey Jeff, how's it going? Hope you're doing okay. Hey, by the way, the, the weather was awesome outside today. Wow, it was great. I hope it was good where you're at. I hope it was. Hope it, hope it was. Yeah. So anyway, the Sun Joe, the thing is, uh, it was pretty cool because I got a chance to go hit some of those limbs I couldn't reach. Oh, I took care of them with this. This really worked out really good. So I, it's gonna take me a, it's gonna take me a while to digest all the things that you can do with it. But you know how the thing is: the first time you use something, you you have a particular, you think something, and then you go do it again, and you you might be cutting different types of wood or different types of branches or different angles or whatever and then then you come up with a more of a opinion so anyways my first early my first early impression of the sun joe pole saw pretty good because you know why you know why a lot of people don't need to cut much once you cut it guess what you don't need to cut it for like a long time it's not like you're gonna use it tomorrow the next day once you cut what you got to cut that's about it sun joe has a has a video Yes, Sun Joe. Sun Joe has a video. They have a video for you know. They have a video for a lot of different things. I the the thing that I that I firmly believe in video is just so powerful. When you could when you could show somebody all they need to know about a particular if you're you know if you're working for a manufacturer and you could show in video, it's so much it's so much easier to make that make that sell sale. Now I'm not a <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a pole saw, pole chainsaw specialist yet, but maybe I'll get, maybe I'll become a better one as time goes by. The one thing I can tell you is that I'm starting, I'm definitely have a lot of years using a weed eater. In fact, I, I go way back before that even was out. You know, they had that thing called the cane knife. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you had to sharpen the cane knife and that you cut things with the cane knife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're younger, you don't even know what I'm talking about a lot of times. But yeah, the cane knife, that's what we had. But and then they then they came out with this thing called a weed eater. And we said, What? Weed eater? Weed eater. Yeah. And you know, Black and Decker was the one the one the one that, you know, kind of dominated the business. And uh, and basically as far when I started on it, Amazon. If you would have said, you know, like the psychiatrist says, hey, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? You say weed eater. I say black and decker. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's what I thought until I saw the works WG 163. Man, that thing, that thing went crazy last year. That thing was selling. The good thing about it is the thing that's pretty and be sure you're wearing chaps and personal safety gear. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Randall, how are you and Calvin doing? We're doing we're doing great. We're doing great. We're hanging in there. We spent we spent yesterday on the road. Calvin had some Calvin had some uh, 
he had to go do some blood work and he had to go see see the doctor and when it's all said and done yeah yeah I went yeah exactly you have you definitely have to protect yourself no question about that I know a few people that that have that that have had problem you know had had um incidents there yeah exactly so it is something that you definitely positively actually have, have to have a lot of respect you know what yeah all this stuff still i was so yeah i was hey richard how's it going how's it going thanks for stopping in um yeah i was just yesterday i was on the road yesterday and i was i was in traffic five times uh construction and wrecks and you name it, Calvin and I, we were like, why did we pick this day to go ahead and travel? Why? Because we had a doctor appointment. That's why. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got on the road and it was just, it was just not too good. Yeah, it was not too good. Um, and the other thing is I, I do have, I, I do definitely recommend something uh, when you're traveling and you know there's going to be some problems, don't try to. Use that last bit of gas. Make sure you got enough gas because you don't want to run out. And that's what we did. We ended we ended up uh, picking up our first gas over four bucks. We never paid over four bucks for gas, but we did yesterday. Yeah, so so we're lucky. We we live in an area that gas is pretty uh, pretty definitely pretty affordable. All right. Well, I think I got my cr I think I got my crowd. Um, I think I got my crowd up, so I think I could say what I was going to say. Yeah, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a giveaway today. I'm going to do a giveaway today, and I'm trying to do it a little different. I'm trying to do things different. I'm just touch, I'm just putting my toe in the water, and it's still going to be, it's still going to be old school. I got my, I got my scissors. I got my ink pen. I got my paper. I got Calvin's hat. I got Calvin's hat. I had to go back downstairs to get Calvin's hat because I got to pull the name out of the hat. Yeah, I got to do that. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I guess, I guess I, I guess I can do this. I guess I can start. I guess I can start taking names. I guess I could. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can just see what I'm doing here. Let me. Uh, let me find myself first. Yeah, it looks like I have the chat. Okay. All right. $6 for gas in California. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, you heard what I said. I paid over 4 bucks, but I'm I'm lucky. I saw a thing today that the average gas <clears throat> average gas in California is $1.67 higher than the rest than the average price in the country. Yeah, that's exactly where that goes. Okay, so I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a um I'm gonna do a, a pull pull the name out of the hat thing today. And what I did was I it's pro it's National Frozen Food Month. And I spent 35 plus years in the frozen food arena. And I know all the manufacturers, I know people that work for all the different companies and stuff. And uh, I figured I was gonna make it a little make it a little different. I I got 25 different 25 different brands of product of, that you could buy in the frozen food department. And what I was going to do is I was going to assign a dollar value to each one of the brands. And then when you pick it out of the hat, whatever the value was for that particular brand, that's what you that's what you get as far as a gift card. Send, send the thing as a gift card, the value, and then you can do whatever you want. Okay, let's say let's say it's uh I don't know, or I had a French fries, um, and it's for five dollars. You don't have to buy a bag of or a, or I had a French fries. You just do what you want with the five dollars. But it's just to make it a little more fun since it is National Frozen Food Month. Uh, I got I got involved with that quite a bit because that's what I that's what I worked with. All right. So anyway, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the main thing. You know, the main thing is you got to be an adult. You got to be an adult. You got to live in the U.S. And I got to be able to get a hold of you. You know, I got to be able to get a hold of you. If I can't get a hold of you when I do the drawing. And unfortunately, I can't tell you I know when the drawing is going to be. I don't know. Because I just kind of jumped. I just kind of fell into this. 
I just kind of, I was going to go live a lot earlier. And then I just thought, let me just put together something that makes it a little more interesting. And then the other deal is, I don't know. I don't know if you know, but if you want to watch Thursday night football this year, it's going to be on Amazon. Yeah. So, you know what? I figured, well, since I'm in the, since I got the background in the food and I do talk about a lot of things that cook food, then how about, you know, kind of getting ready for the season, even though it's a, it's a long time from now. Just talk about some of the things that end up being eaten during a Thursday night football game. And I know them all. I know all the good stuff. I definitely positively, absolutely. Yeah. I know all of them. All the, all the ones. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. It looks like, and, and if everything go, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but if I do lose communication, I'll just come right back in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let's see But Jeff was, Jeff was here. So I got Jeff in, I'm writing Jeff's name down, Jeffy, Jeffy's in. I'm going to put Reagan in there. Cause you see, I know all these characters that show around, show up around here. I'm going to go ahead and put Sonny. All right. The main thing is you got to, you know, you know, you got to be around when I pull the name, whenever that's going to be. And like I said, I really, um, I really apologize that I didn't start out a lot earlier. Cause if I would have started out earlier, I could have gave a particular time. So I just don't know when I'll be able to get this, but I got Richard's name in there. I just put Richard in there and I'll put, I'm going to put Tink. Uh, let's see. Jay Singh uh, is, is following. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Dale Hisher. Uh, let's see. How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. All right. So I got Tink. All right. And then, uh, hey, Dale, are you following me? I don't know if you're following me or not. I don't I don't know. If you could hit that follow button, I would really would appreciate it. I'll go ahead and put you in, Dale. Go ahead and put you in. All right, Dale, got to put the last name. He's sure. All right, got your name in there, Dale. Yeah, and Jay Singh, I, I'm going to put Jay Singh. At least Jay Singh. All right, Jeff. Hey, Jeff Singh, what? Let's see. I kind of fell into this too. You fell into the... You fell into Amazon Live. Is that what it was? Oh, look at Jennifer's here. Jennifer, the last time I did this, Jennifer won every, she won three times. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. She did. She was real lucky. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the cookbook diva in. I don't know who's going to be around by the time I pick. I don't know. I guess if you can, if you can hang out long enough, you'll. You'll uh, be around. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Richard. Sound, okay, I'm just trying to uh, make things a little more, uh, a little more fun, I guess. How about next Thursday? I am on your show. Yeah, that's true. Sonny's gonna be on my show. Yeah, Sonny's gonna be a guest on my show. Yeah, she's done the live, the live thing. So uh, that's uh, uh, that's part of being on. Being on live, 99% of the people don't want to be on live. They don't want to be on camera, 99%. I think that's pretty accurate. I think it is. Yeah. Hey, Busy, how's it going? I guess I'll have to put Busy on there. Let's see, Busy, Busy. Oh, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Dale saying, okay, Dale, all you got to do is click. Click the uh, – well, first of all, you got to be signed in on your Amazon account. You click, you click the uh, – you click the screen and you should see it down at the you should you should see it down on the bottom if you're on a laptop. Are you on a laptop or you're on a on the phone? But you should be able to click it and hit follow. Just uh, touch the screen. Uh, busy. I I wish it was better. I got ten eight. I got ten eighty one or ten eighty two. Yeah, that's. I was getting to the point where I was I was doing giveaways and I was staying at the same level, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's what was going on. Let's see. 
Uh, my life totally changed in the last three weeks since I started Amazon live streaming. Yeah, your Yeah, you got busy all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, Dale, got it. Yeah, Dale, there you go. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's awesome. Fantastic. Got another fun. Hey, look, for me to get two extra followers in a, in a live stream, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you're on the phone. Okay. Yeah, it should. You should be able to find it. It's just, um, just sometimes you just got to sit back, try to clear your mind, click it and pay attention to what's what. And then you see it sometimes when we're under pressure to find something, we can't find it. Yeah. You know, like when you're trying to get your phone off of the speaker, you can't find, you don't know what, what to hit to get to stop talking to everybody. Yeah. You're trying to have a, private conversation and all of a sudden it just you just don't know how to switch it on the phone don't tell people when you're going to do the drawing if you really want yeah i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i don't know uh when i'm gonna do the do the drawings because i kind of started late today i'm just trying to change it up a little bit trying to make it a little more interesting uh, I didn't make much yet but i got busy rearranged my sleep and work schedule yeah uh amazon will uh, turn your life will completely change your life yeah because all of a sudden that's all you're thinking about that's all i'm thinking about i can't it's just like they got the final you know they got final four is coming to new orleans yeah once they play the games they're coming to new orleans but i don't have time to, i don't have time to uh pay attention to all the details of the of march madness or i don't have time to to watch a whole uh to watch the houston astros or you know I didn't even get to see LSU get knocked out of the, the March Madness. I didn't even get to see that. That's all. Jennifer knows what – Dale knows what he's doing. Yeah, there you go on that. Traeger is calling my name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Traeger. Yeah, if you could – Traeger is uh, definitely one of those uh, I wish I had one type situations. It uh, It does. It does change your life, hopefully better. How is Calvin doing? Hey, busy. Calvin went to um, Calvin went to the orthopedic yesterday, and uh, we've been having his uh, wheelchair for five years, and he's going to get a new wheelchair. So he's happy. He's thrilled. This is going to be his seventh wheelchair. Uh, he's thirty-three years well, thirty-three and a half years old, I guess you could say. So uh, he gets a wheelchair every five years. So he's got one count. He's going to get one, you know, in the next couple months or so. So if you see him next time he's cooking in the kitchen or something like that, go ahead and ask, go ahead and ask him about his, uh, yeah, go ahead and ask him about his wh wheelchair. Cause he's real happy about that. Well, we are on third. We love Traeger so much. You're on, you're on your third one. Wow. Wow. That's, that's that's a lot. <laughs> Woo -hoo, hope. Yeah. Oh yeah. Believe me, his wheelchair is uh, definitely gonna be nice. The wheelchair he's got right now is the best one he ever had. Wheelchair number six was the best one he ever had, and it was also the heaviest one that he ever had. I weighed it yesterday. It was fifty six pounds. Fifty six pounds. That's what it was as of yesterday. Let's see, Calvin. I hope it has. Latest suspension system and great cushioning. Is it motorized, Jeff? It is not. It's not motorized, uh, but there it doesn't have to have a motor to be extremely expensive. Yeah, without a doubt. Does it have a lot of bells and whistles on it? Yeah, it will. It it'll have a you know it'll have a few bells and whistles and and I know that like five years later there's probably a lot of uh, there's probably a lot of upgrades. I'm sure they've learned a lot in the last five years, so the wheelchair is probably going to be a little better than the last one. Every every year it gets a little better. No. No, that's not good. That could happen too. That can, ha that can definitely happen because you take the wheelchair out and sometimes you forget about what you're doing. And, yeah, it can happen. That, I, that goes through my mind all the time. I basically think, though, what I always worry about is running over the the foot plate, the foot plate that's attached. I always I always worry about leaving that on the side and then hitting it with my wheel and then crushing it and making a big disaster. 
But yeah, I always think about that. Yeah, because you don't see it. You don't see it. You close you close the back of your vehicle, and if you forget about it, you you know you don't see it. So you you run right over it because a lot of times it's well and yeah, it's low. It's not gonna it's not gonna be high enough to see it in the window. So it's a, it's definitely in the blind spot. Not everybody has uh, you know eleven different cameras. You know some of the new vehicles have that. Yeah, mine doesn't have any cameras, so I don't see anything in the back. So, but I do always worry about it. Yeah, let's see. I did. Um, I did. Okay, I'll admit something that I did. I I went to a food show in Las Vegas with Calvin, and we were gonna go to we were gonna go to old Las Vegas, you know, the downtown area. And we were at the Paris Hotel, and I put his foot plate to the side of the car, and I didn't run over it, but. I, apparently it got left in the parking lot so we got we got to the we got to the downtown vegas the downtown part and when i opened the back to get the wheelchair out that's when i realized oh man the foot plate's gone oh man and you know the the foot plate, the foot plate if you lose it it's gonna be real expensive i know that so i called the paris hotel and told them that I'd left it in, you know, that apparently I left it in the parking lot. And uh, when I went back, they had it at the lost and found. I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy that, you know, that somebody didn't take it or just throw it away or whatever the deal is. But, yeah, that, that foot plate's very, very, he ha very, very ha uh, heavy. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, Freddie's eating some Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Freddie, Freddie, I don't know if you saw this. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, they got two. They got two new things that I saw. They got like the, the candy bars. They got like the. They got like the candy bars. Um, yeah, so the candy bar here. You got one here. This is with white chocolate and hazelnut. And then. Uh, you got the you got the milk chocolate right here. Yeah, for some re some reason I'm looking. I can't believe I got a delay in my uh I'm looking at what I'm doing and I got a delay right in front of me. I don't know what that's all about. Let's see that. Yeah, that was that was a mirror that was a miracle. Uh but it ruined our it ruined our trip to the downtown area because that's all we were worried about. We couldn't get back. We couldn't wait to get back to the hotel to see if they had the foot plate. And then you know, uh, it's not like, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. I know, I know, I remember now. I left the family in the downtown area and they went all over the, you know, they went walking and everything. I went in the traffic and got back to the, the Paris Hotel and I got the foot plate and then I went back to the downtown area and whatever. So that I just missed the opportunity of walking around the downtown area. That's kind of what it came down to. Cause you know, if you go, if I went there for a food show, I had to make sure I was working. You know, I was make I got to work, right. You know, so I didn't have extra time to go back again and spend some time. So that's what I missed out on, but I got my, but I got my, but I got my foot plate, the foot plate. And the thing is I would have been so that would have, you know, that would have kind of ruined the trip a little bit. Yeah. But anyway, those, uh, those Ferrero Rocher uh, deals, they had two, they had two of them, two different ones. I don't know if they make four or five or six or I don't know, but I, at least I got that. Yeah. So anyway, that's where that's at. Let's see. Did I, is some, did I put Freddie in? Yeah. Let me put Freddie in. I got to put Freddie in the Freddie. We're going to do a draw and it's, it's, um, I got like 25 different food items, 25 different food items. I assign them a value from five dollars, seven fifty, ten dollars, twelve fifty, fifteen, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, and twenty-five dollars. And I'm gonna pull it out the hat, I guess. I guess pull it out the hat. And then if you if you got an item that's twelve fifty, you get a gift card for twelve fifty. And if you want to buy whatever it is that I'm talking about, you could buy it. You know, you could buy it if you want. But the main thing is, I just give you the gift card. You do what you want with it. You know, you know how to, you know what to do. So it's kind of like just makes it a little more fun. 
All right, let me put Freddy before I forget. I'm going to put Freddy. Put Freddy. So the deal is, the deal is since, okay, so it's National Frozen Food Month, number one. I spent 35 plus years in the frozen food arena, number two. The final four is next week in New Orleans. That's my home territory, okay? So what do people do when they... When they watch the final four, they eat appetizers. They eat frozen foods. That's what they do. They eat a lot of frozen foods. They put it in the air fryer. What do I have right behind me? I have a I have an air fryer. Wow. Yeah. Got the air fryer right here. Yeah. So the deal is, it's just like uh, it just makes it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Uh, that's what I that's what I did. Let's see if I have anything. Let's see if I if I didn't know they have a frozen food month. Yes, they do. Every March. March is frozen food month. And what they do, since it's frozen food month, then there's a lot of deals, you know, in frozen foods during that time period. It's promoted. You maybe got more commercials on TV. You might have more social media. A lot of money, <clears throat> a lot of money is thrown into that situation. Everybody's got a special month. You know how that goes. My sis got a Lamborghini. I'm so jealous for her birthday. Wow. Wow, yeah, that's pretty good. If if your sis got a Lamborghini. <laughs> wow. That's something. Uh, okay. All right, so the name name of the game is yeah, if you're not if you're not following me, uh just go ahead and hit that follow button. I can use all the followers I can get. All I definitely all I can get. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the I'm going to go ahead and all right, well, let me ask you this. Um, yeah, I, I guess what I I guess what I can do is cut up the 25 different, you know, prizes or whatever and put it in the hat. So we, we pick the name of the winner, and then we pick the name of the – so the thing is it makes it a little more exciting because you don't know what you're going to win. You don't know if it's going to be $5, if it's going to be $15, is it going to be $25. You just don't know, you know. So that's um, that's how I got it uh, situated. And, and depending if I – if I make progress, if I make progress over time and it looks like it's working out, then I, you know, then I keep on doing it. That's that's what it's all about. If if a promotion works and you seem like you're making progress, then you continue doing it. So so far it looks it looks pretty good since it's already 10 o'clock and I got 33 people on. I think that's, you know, that's that's a step in the right direction. Sarah, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. I can I could uh I could use all the followers I could get. Let me see. I might uh, I might actually be on the plus side if I could find my phone. Let's see, where did I put it? No, it's not that one. Did I lose my phone? How can I lose my phone? Wait a minute. Oh, I got it. Hey Freddie, you know what I did? I put the candy bars on top of my phone. They're about the same size, so I couldn't see it. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if I actually have a positive traction here on my follower count. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to find out. Yes, I do. I got 1084. I'm up three. I'm up three. Thanks to Sarah. Thanks to Dale. Who else I got? Dale. Sarah, Dale. Let's see, let's see. Oh, man, everything. I'm having problems with everything today. Oh, man. I can't. Yeah, Dale. And then I guess there wasn't, I guess there was, yeah, Jay Singh. That was another follower. Okay. So that's, uh, I appreciate that. That's great. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see what I got to do here. Let me see if I could get uh, up to date. Let's see if I get up to date. Yeah. Oh, I got Margaret. Look, I got Margaret here. See one thing about me doing the one thing about me doing the uh, the giveaway. I know all, I know a lot of the characters that hang out here. Yeah, and Margaret's Margaret's one. All right, now I gotta go bend down and get that pen. It's not as easy to get back up anymore. <laughs> all right, let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I go ahead and put Margaret in. Let me get Margaret in there. 
Margaret, Margaret. Margaret. Okay, I got Margaret. And I got Tink. I got Tink in. Yep. Yep, sure do. And I got Dale. Yeah, don't forget Tink. Yeah, we got Tink. Tink's in. Tink's in. Anyway, this is this is the way <clears throat> this is the way I'm gonna do it. I got I got some I got some 25 things, 25 different frozen food refrigerated items because they kind of both do it. Refrigerated does it too at the same time. They call it frozen food month, but refrigerated is at the same time. So I'll give you an example. These are the <clears throat> these are the uh, these are some of the companies that will be in the hat. I got Tatino's pizza rolls. Wouldn't that be a good thing for uh like for Final Four or Amazon Thursday Night Football? Yeah, T Totino's Pizza Rolls. I like them. I know I haven't eaten, you know, I, it's been a while since I had eaten them. And when I, when I cooked, when I started cooking things for the, for the air fryer, man, these things taste good. They really do. I put all right of French fries in there. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's straight fries, if it's curly fries, if it's uh, shoestrings, if it's steak fries, if it's tater tots, doesn't matter. You know, whatever. All that works for for the final four. That would be good things. That, that would be any kind of potato would be a good, even baked potato. Any of those things would be good for the final four. What about Johnsonville? Brats. I'm not going to say sausage. I'm going to say brats. Johnsonville's major. Yeah, Johnsonville's major. They they got those big they got those big grills that they go around to all the tailgate parties around the country. Hey, I'm I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. This is just me thinking. I wonder if they're going to bring one of those big 40 foot. I guess it's 40 foot grill. They got man, they got a grill. You, you think the Traeger's a great grill, <laughs> which I do, and the Weber's a great grill, but they got one of those 40-foot grills. It's a tractor-trailer deal, and they, they go around the tailgate parties. Maybe they're going to show up at one of the Amazon Amazon Thursday night footballs, football games with Al Michaels and Herb. What is it? Uh, oh, I can't think of his name. Herb Street. Yeah. Yep, could be. It's possible. Right? It's possible. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, Margaret, how about that? Yes, there is. I got a giveaway. I got one. Yep, I do. Let's see. Uh, Richard Johnsonville is huge. Yeah, Johnsonville. Uh, yeah, so the, so the deal with the... Uh, the deal with the big grills going around. Yeah, I think that's going to be at a Thursday night Thursday night game. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, I got Bluebell ice cream. You know what I like about Bluebell ice cream? They still sell it in a half gallon tub. They didn't cut. They didn't cut back to fifty six and forty eight ounces. No, it's still a half gallon ice cream. Of course, you got to live in the southern U S. pretty much, or or Denver, Colorado, or you know, it's a limited number of cities. But yeah, Bluebell ice cream. I got Zatarans. Zatarans, uh, that's a big deal in Louisiana. And Zatarans is all over the country. You could kind of find it in different things. What about the Deli Mex uh, Taquitos? Yeah, that, that makes a great thing for, for um, you know, football parties or basketball parties. What about uh, Tyson Chicken Wings? That works. What about uh, CPAC, the CPAC shrimp? What about it? whatever CPAC, CPAC, whatever CPAC makes is good. I almost put Tillamook. I came, I came so close to putting Tillamook in there. I did. I'm, I'm telling you, it. I kept on thinking, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? And I didn't. I didn't. I could do that later. I could add that later. But I almost put Tillamook in there. Basically, not for the ice cream, but for the cheese. That's what I was thinking. Tillamook for the cheese. Oh, there's Dana. Dana's here. Dana's here. Yeah, let me go ahead and put Dana. Yeah. I'm, yeah, uh, Dana. Dana just got here. Let's see. Yeah, Dana, what I'm going to do is uh, it's National Frozen Food Month. And what I'm doing is I got 25 different companies. 25 different frozen items. I'll put them in the hat. They're worth five, seven fifty, ten, twelve fifty, fifteen, twenty, or twenty-five dollars. So instead of instead of um knowing what you're gonna win, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know anywhere from five to twenty-five dollars. 
That's what the deal. That's what the deal is going to be. And the other thing is, I don't know. Being that I started so late today, uh, I mean, late, late. I was trying. My brain was kind of trying to put this deal together. You know, trying to put it together, kind of. And I uh, got late, started late. So whoever's on when I when I pull the name, if you're here, it's the same rules. You got to be an adult, right? You got to be on Amazon. It would be nice if you followed me. I'm not requiring you to follow me, but if you like. If you like to know about another giveaway, it's probably a good thing. And don't forget, if you hit follow, make sure you go into your notifications and put allow notifications because then that way you will find out. I find I find out all the time. I find out when David's going on. I, I find out when Call That Geek goes on. I find a lot of different people. I, I go and I hit the, uh, you know, I go and hit the deal. If you go to the, if you go to the browse section, if you go to the browse section, you'll see you'll see the uh, you'll see where you can hit that bell, and the bell will definitely make you know about it. Jalapeno poppers, Richard. Yeah. Um, let's see. I actually sold jalapeno poppers back. Well, jalapeno. Well, it was crab meat stuffed. Jalapeno peppers in from Bayou La Battery, Alabama. Yeah, and talk about that was real popular. And you, and as you know, that's can you imagine what that sells for today? I'm talking about stuffed with stuffed with crab meat from the Gulf of Mexico. In today's world, yeah, it's got to be sky high. The peppers were high 30 years ago. They're probably really really high today. But yeah, that's uh. That kind of that kind of works. Let's see. I got Dana. Yep, I got Dana. All right. So I think I got Eric. I'm doing a good job of keeping up. I'm t I'm telling you, I can't believe that. That's work. It's working that way. Yeah. So wait. Let me go back to some of the companies I have that I put in here. Uh, if you think of any other other items that you think, what I was thinking of thing things different items that everybody around the country can find. You know. Um, I didn't get I didn't get too niche, you know, like something that you could only buy in a particular area. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to kind of I wanted to get companies that uh, companies that make product that have national distribution and you could find it. So if you have a if you have a um, man, everything's delayed. I don't it's delayed on my stream, but that uh, Instapot Duo, Chris, all the stuff that I have in here, you could you could cook all that stuff in the Instapot Duo, Chris. Yeah, like what else I put in here? What about Nathan's onion rings? You remember me talking about that? I got that in the I got that in the one right here. Man, I don't know why everything's delayed. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. Okay, I got Pilgrim's uh, Pilgrim's um, Pilgrim's chicken strips. I got uh, Gordon's the the Gordon's uh, the fish sticks with that are made with whole fillets, for instance. I got the uh, Hormel product, whatever. Hormel, Hormel makes a lot of great stuff. They got the pepperoni. You can make sandwiches with pepperoni, with the sliced pepperoni. That's got so much flavor. You got Rosina meatballs out of Buffalo, New York. They do the Italian. They do home style. They do Swedish. They do Angus. They do turkey. They do, you know, all kinds of stuff. That's great for parties. That's perfect for parties. When you... When you have a party and you're trying to find an item that actually, when you're looking for an item that actually can stay hot during the whole time while you're watching the football game or the while you're watching Amazon Thursday night football in the fall, when you're doing that, you you put the you put the uh, you the meatballs in a steamer and you let you know you let the steamer run and then anybody that goes get a meatball 5 minutes later, 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later, it's hot. I mean it's hot. That's it's moist and it's hot and that's how you want it. Yeah, a lot of things get cold real fast. When you make the pizza, you can't keep the pizza hot or you're going to burn it. So you make the pizza, so you got to eat the pizza when it's there. One thing, one word, one thing I can say don't be in a rush with those Totino pizza rolls because those things are hot. It is hot inside that pizza roll. Yeah, so if you don't pay attention, if you don't pay attention, you take that out of the air fryer and you go chomping down on it, that stuff's going to spray out the side and it's going to burn you. 
So you got to be careful with those Totino pizza rolls. They're good, but you better not eat better not eat them when they're super hot. Hey, you might you might be interested in like an entree while you're while you have the game. You may want to serve something, you know, like something from PF Chang or Bertoli or voila. You know, that's three huge brands in the entree business, frozen entree business. And if you're trying to put something together pretty quick and you want to feed people, that might be something that you might want to use. What about uh, Innovation? They got that stuff to always talk to you about the chicken. You 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 do the chicken. You you do the chicken in the air fryer, and then you add that General So sauce. Yeah, I said it, General So. That's what I call it. Other people call it different. Uh, they call it different. Let's see. Okay, I'm back. A calf got loose. They're escape artists. Oh, yeah, those calves are something. Hey, Darren, thanks so much for following. I appreciate it. And look at Awesome Mom is here. <laughs> awesome Mom, thanks for the follow. Well, I hadn't seen you. Oh, that's why you didn't see me. Yeah, you didn't see me because uh, you weren't. I guess you weren't. I, I guess some. I've heard that some people said that some kind of way they accidentally unfollowed me. So it can happen. David, hey, how's it going, David? Thanks so much for uh, saying hi. Yeah, if you're not following me, it's a good thing to follow me because, you know, depending on how things work out today, I might, you know, might continue doing it. It's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're not following, all you got to do is touch the screen and hit the follow button. That's it. That's all you got to do. All you got to do. All right. Let's see. What else I got in here? I got Bubba Burgers. I got Bubba Burgers, and I got, uh, let's see what else. Let me see what else I got. I got, what else I didn't talk about? El Monterey Burritos. Yeah, you get that in a like an eight-pack. Yeah, you got eight burritos. It's simple. It's just beans and cheese and meat, and it's good stuff. I like it. I like it. They make tamales, too. Yeah, I was, I was, talking, I was talking to Josh and, da and, Josh and Darren. And I, I was happened I, I happened to talk to them on National Tamale Day. And I told uh, I told Josh that they they make some there's manufacturers that make some good tamales. And I don't know if he believed me or not, but I'm telling you, I've been kind of doing this for well, 35, 35 plus years in the frozen food. So I know about tamales. Yeah, I've tried. I've tried every tamale you can imagine that's pre manu you know, that's manufactured. Let me see what else I got. Jimmy Dean's in here. I got Jimmy Dean in here. I got Hill Hillshire Farms. I got Sargento. I could have put Tillamook. Yeah, sorry, Jeff. I could have put Tillamook, but I put, I, I went ahead and put Sargento. Sargento makes a lot of stuff for sandwiches. Yeah, they make sliced everything. So that comes in the handy. What about if you're making a ham and cheese or or for the for the football for thir, for Amazon Thursday night football? What about if you make ham and cheese sandwiches? You might you might need some sliced cheese. Tillamook is big in chunk cheese. If you want to if you want to cut cheese up and have chunks with a toothpick or a, you know a lot of people I don't know if you know this but a lot of people use pretzels as toothpicks and then you don't have to worry about the the used you know the used toothpick. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Some people don't know. Some people don't know. That's why I'm saying it. That's what I'm saying. Those are good on the east. Those are good. Wait, those are good on the east. On the on the go east. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. So let's see if I left anybody. The Giorno. I put the Giorno in here. They make great, they make great pizza. They sell a lot too. Their sales are off the charts. Let me see if there's anything else I left out. Uh, I think I mentioned everybody. I think I'm, I think I mentioned every, let's see. Looks like, looks like I did. The only one maybe. Oh yeah. Mrs. T's pierogies. Yeah. Put them in. If you go back, if you go back 32 years when I was trying to tell people or telling buyers, they ought to put the pierogies in their, you know, their store. They kind of like looked at me like, what is that? I didn't, I barely knew myself. I didn't know until I, until I went to Miami. I went to Miami and I saw it over there. Yeah. I went, I saw it in Miami and then I, then I could, 
then my uh, sister-in-law, she cooked it, she fried it, and man, it was good. So I was, I was, I was hooked. And I was like, okay, people know what pasta is, right? They know what potatoes are, and they know what cheese is. So I mean, it's not anything foreign, even though it's got a funny name, pierogi. I know it's it, it's a Polish item. Yeah, it's a Polish item. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff cutting the cheese. Yeah, if you got Tillamook, you have to cut. Yeah, you have to cut the cheese. If you have um. Yeah, if you have that piano wire, yeah, I, let's see. Rumor has it taking money from the companies and giving false reviews. Rumor has it, it you're taking money from companies and giving false reviews. Uh, Cameron, I don't know what you're, I don't even know what you're talking about because uh, that's my money that's going out. So I don't see any, uh, I don't see any false, I don't see any false reviews there. Ha uh, yeah, Dale. You, uh, yeah. So, uh, no, no, I don't think I don't think that's the case. Yeah, these are all the these are all the. This is twenty five different companies. I wish I I wish I was, I wish I was getting getting endorsements from twenty five different companies. That would be pretty cool. But nope, not not happening. Not happening today. All right, let's see. Uh. Yeah, I'll just I'll just say this. If you're not following me, if you could hit that follow button, that would be that would definitely be appreciated. I could use all the followers I could get. In fact, I might have a few extra ones. Let's see. Yeah, I think I got three more. It's 1087. That's cool. That's cool. 1087. I'll take it. Yeah, that's probably the most <laughs> most extra followers in a long time. Oh, David, wait, wait. I live 30 minutes from Mrs. T's pierogies. Ah, okay, okay, David. Um, yeah, yeah, let's see. Um, I went up to, let's see, Mrs. T's. Yeah, that's in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. They're big. I mean, it's huge over there. Um in Pennsylvania, everybody knows what that is. Just like pretzels, pretzels are a big deal. Pretzels are pretzels are huge. When I went to the first food manufacturer that I represented, I started a brokerage company 35 years ago. So the first company I represented was a company out of Philadelphia. Uh, they sold roast beef, corned beef, pastrami. So I went up to Philadelphia. Calvin was uh, a Calvin was like. I don't know, three or four months old. And he was a preemie, okay? So so that means he wasn't big at all. He was real. I don't think he, I don't even, he might not even been 10 pounds at the time. He went to, he went to uh, Philly. And the first thing that, that we saw that we couldn't believe was that they were selling pretzels at the corner. At just some old corner, the corner street, and it was selling pretzels. So that was kind of like, I can't believe that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Cameron. Uh, Cameron, uh, autism runs in my family. Oh, yep. Yeah, let's see. All right, let's go on. I'm going to go ahead. I guess I can. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Let's see. I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to go back to the carousel. Let's see. Going back to the carousel. Let's see if I get my carousel open. Yeah, sometimes you can't get it open. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I one thing I could say, uh, I, this is my 591st uh, live stream, so I've seen just about everything. Yep, I've seen just about everything. Okay, all right. Let's see where I was. Where I was. Uh, I got. Yeah, I got. I went to that. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that! Look at that! Let me. The. Uh, the black. Let. The Black & Decker Hedge Trimmer, 
that's a great price. In fact, that, oh man, that is the, that, that is uh, the lowest price I ever saw. If you need a hedge trimmer, and I really like it. I really like it. I picked it up. I bought it in August, right at the end of the summer. Just to give you an idea how good, how, to give you an idea how good that price is, the Amazon Prime Day price was 111 And in fact, oh yeah, now I remember. Yeah, the lowest price ever on the Black & Decker was 98 98 something when when it was um cyber monday so this 97 dollars is 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 pretty good everybody should have one like that and it definitely definitely takes uh takes care of some things yeah yeah Cam uh cameron uh yeah my son has cerebral palsy too i i have a nephew that has uh autism and i have a son that's got cerebral palsy just so you know yeah, so I, you know, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of different things in the chats already. That's for sure. All right, I got the Traeger here at nine ninety nine. This Traeger, this wood pellet grill, uh, is definitely loved by a lot of people. Got a big fan base. This particular uh, unit uh, was at nine ninety nine in May. It was there in June, and July, August, September, October. And I think somewhere around October, November, it went 100 bucks down, and that was it. That's the only deal I saw on it. Other than that, it's been $999 uh, ever since then. So it kind of keeps uh, – let's see. The um, the Traeger grill, yeah, it pretty much stays at that $999 price. Yeah. Let's see. Weber, The Weber Genesis. All right, let me see. Oh, yeah, let, we got a chance. We got a chance to uh, – Oh, I know what. Yeah, now I know. Yeah, I was looking at the chat there, and that's why I had the delay. Now I got it figured out. Cool. I like like David says, cool, cool, cool. That's what David says all the time. That's what I picked up from Cal, uh, from uh, from him. Anyway, let's see. I got this um, this Weber Genesis. Oh, by the way, I just found this. Um, before COVID started, Calvin was invited to 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 uh, to a food plant which just happened to be a water plant. But the deal is for a kid with cerebral palsy to be invited to a plant, that's that's pretty good. Here we go. Here's Calvin at the at the Evermore water plant in Covington, Louisiana. And it and it's uh pretty close to uh where Alley Cat lives. Yeah, so he's uh he's in the plant. The plant was uh clean as can be i mean that thing was like it, they just opened it up yesterday it was, it was pretty impressive i really like i really liked it i've been in a i've been in plants all over the country many many of plants and uh that one was real impressive out of covington louisiana well let's get to that genesis let me get to that genesis the genesis here all right calvin tell me tell me how many burgers you want four, four? you can't eat four terry bradshaw burgers no, you can't. That's too many, Cal. Right That's too many Bradshaw burgers. What about the Bubba burgers? What about the Bubba burgers? How about that? Okay. Yeah, so that's that's Calvin. He likes the, the Terry Bradshaw burgers and the Bubba burgers. And then the thing is that makes uh, things really exciting, as far as I'm concerned, is the uh, is the burgers itself. This looks good. I'm a big fan of uh, well done burgers. Burgers are cooking. Man, they're looking good. Looking good, Calvin. We're going to be eating good in our neighborhood. Yeah. All right. Like, Hey, one of the things I always talk about is the fact that I like to, I like to cook them well done. I like always, huh, Calvin? We always eat them well done. I know there's a lot of people that like them rare and medium and all that kind of stuff, but um, my favorite's just uh well done. Terry Bradshaw and Bubba Burgers on the grill. Yeah, so the, um, yeah, that's worth seeing again. Burgers are cooking. Man, they're looking good. Looking good, Calvin. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. 
Good stuff, all right. Let's see. Hold on just a second there. Let me... Hold on just one second there. All right. Let's see here. Let me let me see if I got that, that footage on the Traeger. The Traeger is a good grill. Sunny says that. Sunny, Sunny's on her third Traeger. She says it's the real deal. So I'll, so I'll go ahead and uh, jump on over to Traeger. Let's see. Let me try. Let me find Traeger here. The Traeger, um, the 780. That's exactly what I'm looking for. The 780. That's what I'm looking for. The 780. That's it. Here we go. I'm back. I'm back. Anyway, that's pretty, um, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That, that particular grill keeps its price. Like I said, it was $9.99 in June, July, August, September. And then, like I said, right when the holiday specials came through, it dropped a hundred bucks and that was it. And ever since that, it's been $9.99. Uh, really, 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 really good one. No question about that. Hey, one thing, one thing the other day, I, I needed a prescription for my son. We were going, we were going to do some blood tests, and I had the prescription, and I tore up the house looking for it. Couldn't find it. I wish I would have had this Apple Air tag on that prescription because it really, it took me a long time to find it. It took me, I guess, an hour and a half to find it. But that's time you can't get back, you know, hour and a half. So anyway, this Apple Air tag works good. I, you know, I'd say even if you get one and you do it for your keys, because you can't lose your keys, because if you lose your keys, you can't get back in your house. You can't get in your car. You can't get in your condo. You can't get into your trailer, your whatever. You, your keys are your life. So keeping track of your keys is a good thing. Now, if you really like it and you want to expand it, you can get the Apple, the Apple ones like four for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Isn't that something, you know, the four for a dollar? Yeah. Yeah, it's not four for a dollar. Four for a hundred dollars, but it's a deal. Twenty-five dollars a piece. Haven't seen any Terry Bradshaw burgers in California. It's a real deal. It's a real deal. Let's see where Terry Bradshaw's at here. Uh, let's see. He's over here. Terry Bradshaw. Now this is this is Holton. This is Holton Meat Company. It's a it's a major um, burger manufacturer. But when I saw this. The first thing that came to my mind was, you. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. Don't tell me that's Terry Bradshaw. Because I know Terry Bradshaw is, you know, um, this would be right up his alley. Yeah, this would definitely be up right up his alley. And sure enough, there he is. Terry Bradshaw, that's him. You want... The thing I could, the thing that I would think that this has got to be pretty popular in Pittsburgh. Has to be. 
I know the pierogies are. The pierogies are popular over there. I'm sure that the Terry Bradshaw burgers are too. Uh, let's see. California have in and out Burger. Oh, in and out Burger. Yeah, that's, you know, in and, in and out Burger, I guess had to do okay during the, during COVID because their menu is so easy. So it's so uh, simple. It's not complicated, you know, but then when you get to like, a, you know, McDonald's, McDonald's has so many different things on the menu. It's complicated. You know, it takes a lot of effort to try to produce all the things that like a mcdonald's does but an in and out was perfect for covid because you could get probably in and out or you could pick up what you need you know no it's not up in seattle but in and out did did open places in texas it's out in texas now i'm in you know I don't know if it crossed the louisiana border i don't know if there's any in and outs in louisiana at all i don't know i haven't seen any Anybody know? Anybody ate it? Uh, one in, let's say, Lafayette or Lake Charles? I don't know. Nobody told me if there was. Yeah, that's the one thing that California has that the rest of the country wants, definitely. They want uh, not only good weather, let's say, but they definitely would like a few in and outs in their territory. Hey, like I put this uh, kayak in here. This is from Intex. Intex, uh, they, make, they make great swimming pools, but they also make great kayaks. Three of the three of the top ten best selling items I had last year were from Intex. Yeah, were these kayaks? I can't believe it. It was these 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 kayaks were great. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the deal was. I don't. I'm not a kayak expert. I've never even been in a kayak. I've been in a lot of boats because when you're from Louisiana, you go fishing all the time. Hey, Christine, how you doing? Hope everything's a okay. Let's see. I have a friend who lived. Let's see. I have a friend who lived in one of these kayaks for two years. It was his dream. Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. I'll be heading off to bed. Tell Calvin I said hi. Yes, I sure will. Awesome, mom. You take care. I know it's late night. This is late night. It's kind of like whoever is still surviving at the end of the night, you know, can go ahead and uh, and and win. But anyway, this in Intex kayak. This particular one was three forty nine last summer. I have a feeling it's probably going to be higher because you know it. They need. It's probably going to get hit by inflation. I think that's going to be the. I think that's definitely going to get hit on it. Um, uh, it's you know it's made with per, petroleum products. You know it's it's definitely going to get hit. So it's probably going to be higher. You see that regular retail of four ninety nine. Uh, it might get closer to that number. But anyway, if you're looking for one and you want to go fishing and you want a kayak, that's one of the lowest prices I've ever seen. And I, today's 323 days in a row that I've been on Amazon Live. 323 days. I've been kind of noticing what prices are. Yeah, when you're when you're there, you're and especially the kayak was in my carousel a whole bunch. So I, I kind of kind of know what the deal what the what the deal is there yeah so um so the um the the yeti the yeti rambler is at um 35 dollars the um i got the the reese's one calvin was uh lucky enough to get one sent by um by hershey yeah i don't know exactly how it happened but it happened so this this uh a tumbler works really, really well. You load it up with the ice and you could, uh, you're in uh, good shape for the majority of the day. You know, that definitely works out. Uh, let's see. Yeah. The Elgato, the Elgato stream deck. I'm st it's a work in progress. I think the, I think the Elgato stream deck is so un. <laughs> so unbelievable the fact that you could add all the different you could add all those different extra keys you can make it whatever you want you want sound effects you want you want uh, videos you want it to do a particular you want it to turn your live stream on you want to get you want to turn it out you can do all those different things it takes a while this this particular one is uh this one is 32 keys from what I understand, I think you get, I think, I think, I think, I think you get 10 pages out of the deal. Yeah, I know. You, 
Look, Christina, <laughs> Christina, you do. You got such a great. Uh, you got all kinds of things going on. I know you got something, something helping you, <laughs> something helping you out. Not uh, on that. It's um, you definitely. The the problem that I had was that I put it on my my uh, <clears throat> my um, HP laptop and it seemed like it kind of slowed the computer down a good bit so then i had to kind of oh man until i get until i get that worked out i won't be able to get it gone but once i get it gone I, i'm gonna be real <laughs> i'm gonna be real happy with it oh uh, one day hey christina one day i'll be oh <laughs> uh, hey one day i'll be as organized as you you got you got the amazon house you got the amazon house you got the whole house devoted to you know, that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like, Christina. The whole house. If there's any house that's devoted to Amazon, I think you got that one. I got it. Christina, I got I got boundaries. <laughs> I got boundaries. I could only make so much mess so many different places. You don't know what I you don't know what I have to go through, what I have to go through. <laughs> oh, anytime we use something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the way it is. I'm sorry. The deal is like. For instance, if you cook burgers, my wife has to say, do we have to save the box? Yes, that's the only way I could kind of show. I got to show and tell. I got to show and tell. So I got the box. I got the box of everything, whatever you want, you know. I even got I even got Martha Stewart's macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese bites. One thing I can tell you about this one, this, this particular one is not really... It's not spicy. This is perfect. If you live in the Midwest and you don't really like spice, this is great for you. Yeah. Um, one thing, one thing living in Southern Louisiana, you learn to um, like cayenne pepper and a lot of other hot stuff. And the deal is this is kind of, you know, it's, it's, I'm not, look, I'm not saying it. To, uh, I'm just saying that it, it's good for people that don't like hot stuff. That's all. That's what it all comes down to. Hey, I got, it's just like my, uh, it's just like the Tabasco, you know, like the Tabasco barbecue sauce. They got into the barbecue sauce business. Well, they, they sure do know the sauce business. Yeah. They sell product in like, I don't know, a hundred and I don't know what the count is. It's like 138 different countries. So they know the sauce business. So when they got into barbecue sauce, I guess it's, you know, it's okay. Let's see what this one is. Yeah. This one's got three fires. Yeah, that's kind of how we are down here. We got we got spice added to everything. If you want this, you could actually get this on. You could get this on Amazon. Yeah, you just look it up. You'll see they got they got the Tabasco, Tabasco. It's there. I saw one of my, I saw one of my friends. He, he was he had a he had um he was had a display. He was at some kind of show. This product right here, this um, Hatch Chili infused olive oil. It's it's a product. It's a product out of Texas. And did you know that they have olive trees in Texas? I didn't know. I didn't know. I think they I think they got like 5,000 acres of olive trees in Texas. See, Texas is so big, they got everything. I think Christina will, um, <laughs> will verify that. Yeah, um, Texas is like their own little country. But anyway, this is on Amazon. Yeah, so everything I get. <laughs> Everything I come across, if it's on Amazon, I gotta, I, I keep it, I save it. Yeah, look, I had uh, beer nuts sent to me. This is out of Illinois. Well, I ate it now. I wasn't gonna hold it for too long. Yeah, this was good, by the way. The beer nuts, they're out of Bloomington, Illinois. Yeah, that's where they make that. So you see, I just, <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I don't know how Christine does. Christine's got, Christine has got so much stuff, so many. So many different high-end pieces of equipment, and then the, the the time that it takes to learn how to operate all that and learn all the features is uh, definitely positively time-consuming. All right, let's see. I better look. I better look back at my. Uh, I better look back at my uh, live stream to see what what uh, what was what's happening. I probably I probably got talking and I probably missed some uh, comments. I'm sure I did. Let's see. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. Let's see. What are boundaries? <laughs> uh, ha, ha, the life of a live streamer. Yeah, it's different. It's a whole new life. It's a whole new life. They're gonna be. There's gonna be a. I'm sure there's gonna be a series on TV. Life. You know how they got hoarders. They probably have. 
life of a live streamer. Yeah, because that's what we end up we end up having to you gotta realize you want you feel you know you feel obligated to to have as much stuff as you can. But the thing is, Amazon's got millions and millions of items. You'll never have everything, but you try to have as much as you can. Let's see, that's my crazy wish list and so on, on me stuff. So. Yeah, save save that box, Randall. Yeah, that's what I do. I save it because because when you show it, it means all the difference in the world. It's just like it's talking to Freddie. Look, Freddie didn't know that they, and I don't think Freddie knew that this existed. But uh, when I'm showing you the real deal, it it's more it it's a bigger deal. Yeah. By the way, I didn't eat it yet. Boy, I'm tempted. It's sitting right next to me. I wanna I wanna get into it. You know. I do, I do, but I can't, I can't, I got to save it. And the thing that makes it worse, the thing that makes it worse is that they got the white chocolate one and everybody knows I like white chocolate. I love white chocolate. You saw what I did to the poor, wait, 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 let me see. You see what I did to the poor, wait, wait, where is it, where is it, where is it? I lost it, I lost it. You see what happened to these poor sconza uh, cashews, they're dipped in white chocolate and they're dipped in milk chocolate. That's it's made out in Oakdale, California. The best, the best chocolate covered cashews I ever ate. They are because it's the first time I ate something that's dipped in white chocolate, also. And I love white chocolate, so it kind of worked. So, you see, I save, I save, I save. You see, I save. All right, let me look at the comments. Let's see. Yeah, da okay, Darren. <laughs> Darren says, I don't do hot. I'm a mild guy. Yeah, I know. I traveled all over the country. I for a very, very long time. I've did I've did so many different food shows, and you don't know how many times I've heard people say, "I don't like hot. I don't like any hot." Or they say, "I don't like uh, dill flavor." Or I don't like uh, like me. I, I'm not a mustard person. I don't like mustard. Mustard's not my thing. I I do I'm pretty excited that somebody likes honey mustard whatever and you like it I appreciate the fact that you like it it's just not me but that you know that's how it goes yeah so anyway that that uh, I just thought that that the uh, Martha Stewart stuff was on the mild side so yeah that might be right up your uh, that might be right up your alley uh, Darren Jeff let's see I don't see that around here in my neck of the woods yet you see yeah. That's the thing about you see. That's the thing about Amazon. Um, I think I need to go to my phone so I could keep everything up to date. Oh man, trying to be a live streamer, being a one man show. Hey, you remember those things that we used to see on the cartoons where you used to uh, play the music and and bang the drum and do everything all yourself? Yeah, that's kind of what we are. We're trying to do everything all by ourselves. Uh oh, I saw somebody. I saw Kmart Kelly just popped in. Yeah, I'm going to have to add you to the list there. Let's see where I'm at. I don't see that around here. Okay, ostrich and olives. Ostrich and olives. <laughs> Got those here. Our book, haha. -ha. That's, oh, uh, Randall. Send, yeah, that's true. Sonny. Yeah, Sonny. Sonny's uh, writing a book about live streaming. That's, tr yeah, that's, yeah, you see, it could be a series. You could do a book first and then do a series later. That's true. Send me that teriyaki jerky, please. I know, I know you. I want it too. I'm, I'm looking at it all the time. I can't wait to, to get into it. Yeah, I can't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's see. Uh, I want the Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Let's see. By the way, by the way, by the way. Uh, I was at, I was at, uh, I was at Children's Hospital yesterday, and I, and I stopped. You know, I stopped in. Calvin went see his orthopedic. Okay. We saw, we saw, we saw a secretary that Calvin saw like 20 something years ago, you know, that we've been seeing over the years. And uh, when I went into the hospital, you know, everybody had the mask, so you couldn't tell. So I, I was looking at this lady and I was like, I think that's her, but I don't know. Is that her? And then, you know how you, you know how you do that? You, I got to go say hello to her. I got to go see what the deal is. I don't want to be embarrassed. You hate to go talk to somebody that you think it is somebody and it's not them or whatever. Okay, so I went up there because I hadn't seen her in a while, you know. They had this COVID thing, you know, <laughs> that stretched things out. So I went up to her. 
I went up to her and come to find out it was the 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 uh, the receptionist, the customer service, whatever for one of Calvin's doctors from way back in the day, right? Like 20, like 30 years ago or whatever. She told me that she just finished working 50 years. <laughs> Can you believe that? 50 years. So you see, I got five more. I got at least five more years. <laughs> Got five more years. She did 50. I got 45 in the food business, but I got to go five more years to catch up with her. As long as she's on, I got to go five more years. I got to try to catch up with her. But anyway, that's that's neat to see somebody work in the hospital for 50 years. So when when she says she's seen it all, she probably saw it all too. Yeah. Let's see. Dale says, I love Reese's. Yes, I, I do. By the way, the final four. The final four next week in New Orleans is sponsored by Reese's. Of course it is. Of course it is. And I don't know. I would imagine one of the major, major, major sponsors. Yep. It cost them a little money to do that. We will do a reality show on your end. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts in that, sh in that show. All right. I better put Kmart Kelly in. Uh, I got to put Kmart Kelly in pretty quick because uh before you know how old people are they forget and stuff i gotta put that there i gotta put her there i don't want to i want to leave her off yeah so you see how i'm kind of like i'm kind of like gliding into this i didn't announce that i was doing this it was just like whoever showed up they know that i gotta that i gotta give away if you didn't show up you don't know that's how that goes all right let's see where i'm at let's see where i'm at let's see if i'm a little further down See where wait, let me see where my uh where my followers are. Maybe I'm finally maybe I finally got to I'm at 1088. 1088. I got two more to get to 1090, which you know I just like to get to, you know, I just like even numbers. Maybe I'll get there before it's all said and done. Maybe, 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 maybe I will. Let's see if I'm gonna make it. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. It is very possible. Oh, Dale. Dale says I'm here to the end. Yeah, it's not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to finish. Let's put it this way. I'll finish today. I'll finish today. I'm not going to go into the next day. I'm definitely not going to go in the next day. Let me see where I'm at. Let's see where I am. I usually try to get a couple hours, so I, I, I'm probably going to have to do something soon. All right, where I'm at, the Elgato. Elgato is awesome. Fantastic. Um, if you ever get to the point, it's usually live streamers and and gamers that know all about this stuff. Yeah, that's the guys that do it. So if, if your daughter or your son, your niece or nephew are getting into live streaming and you want to give them something that will, will make them real happy, get them an Elgato Stream Deck. Yeah, that's definite. You don't have to get, you know, you don't have to get the 32 one. You can get, they got six, they got 15, and they got 32 keys keys okay so you get the smaller one you still get the benefits just like the fitbit sense this is the the number one fitbit is the number one brand of product that i sell since i started number one but it's not it doesn't have to be just the fitbit sense it's all the different product together that adds up to being number one Hey, I got this Dell Inspiron. It's got a 32 gigabyte. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM. It recovers. I'm surprised. Look, I've gone an hour and a half and it hasn't kicked me off yet. I shouldn't even say that because it's probably going to happen in one minute. The thing about <laughs> the thing, at least I can say, is that this computer is so fast. I'll be back in 60 seconds. Hey, uh, Sonny, I got to make sure that I that I take advantage of the real estate on the wall because when the wall shows up. I need to put something like, you know, I need to advertise in that wall because the wall shows up for 60 seconds at least once or twice a, a stream. So I got to I gotta figure out, I got to change that wall up a little bit. Hey, I always talk about this Instapot Duo, Chris, and the reason is it's real easy. Everything I did over the last 35 years, everything I sold pretty much can be cooked in that Instapot Duo, Chris. Yeah, everything that I did. You can even... You can even do pizza in there. You can do the pizza in there. One thing I found out is that I did this all my life, all my life, all my life. If you get a pizza, I don't care if it's Pizza Hut, Papa John's, uh, Domino's, if it's from Costco or Sam's, I don't care where the pizza comes from. If you bring it home and you don't eat it all and you got three or four slices and you put it in the refrigerator and the next day, 
I'm eating it cold. I always eat it cold. You know why? Because I don't like a soggy pizza. That's why. And I don't want to go through the trouble of trying to make it, you know, cook it in an oven and take a while. But the but the the air fryer does really good. It does really good. It gets that pizza looking. It gets that pizza. Well, I like, what I like is it burns the cheese and it it brings out that flavor. That thing. That okay, so it might not be as good as it coming out the oven the first time, but it's pretty good. It, it's concentrated everything, and the flavors are there. So the inst, the Instapot Duo, Chris, does good on pizza that you bought from somewhere else that you're just going, you know, as far as uh, leftovers. So the thing is, this is the thing that Calvin and I, just in case you don't know who Calvin is, this is Calvin. All right, Calvin, tell me, tell me how many burgers you want. Four. Four. You can't. Yeah, that's Calvin. Well, every time we got pizza left over, I eat it cold. I've always eaten it cold. I always ate it cold. Always. But he always wants it hot. He doesn't want it cold. He wants it hot. So you see, I mean, everybody's different. Even though we got a lot of the same, you know, characteristics, genes or whatever, uh, he wants it warmed up and I want it cold. Well, now that I got the air fryer and I've been experimenting with it, uh, it works out great. It works out great. So now I changed. You see, it changed my life. And now I'm now I'm heating up my my leftover pizza. That's uh, that's that's exactly you know that's exactly how it goes. All right, let me show. Look, I want to show this because let's just keep the thing exciting. You can't beat this. Are cooking, man. They're looking good. Looking good, Calvin. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I I did the video of the of the of the Weber Genesis grill with no food on it. You got to have food on it to make it look good. You got to have food. You got to have food. Got to have food. You got to have food. Uh, that's, that's the deal. All right. Anyway, I got the Nordic track in here at 649. It's the number one, it's, it's the number one selling treadmill on Amazon. Every time I look, it's number one. Last year was my number three item in 2021. The first year of me doing Amazon Live, it was number three. This year, it's number two. Will it stay at number two? I don't know. I don't know how it's all going to work out, but it's at number two. It's a good It's a good thing to get into. There's two ways you can look at things. I spent 25 years on the treadmill because I used to watch the Houston Astro games. I used to watch the LSU Tiger games. I used to watch the Saints games. Because, look, if you're running, if you're running <laughs> – if you're running for three hours, <laughs> uh, you're putting in some mileage. You know, I'm not saying running all the time, but running, walking, whatever, you know, whatever you're doing. If you're doing that for three hours, I, re I remember uh, I used to get about 13 miles in during a game, you know, 13 miles. That's So there's got to be a good bit of running and a lot of walking. That's what I used to do. And I used to sweat and all that kind of stuff, you know, used to, used to do that. But after 25 years of hanging out on the treadmill, this gave us – freedom that to where we could go anywhere we want and that's how that's the game changer there but if you want to if you want to watch if you're a tv watcher and you spend a lot of time watching tv and that's what you want to do you see it's a the, the thing that's changed is that now you can watch youtube on the tv now everything is about streaming in fact thursday night football sponsored by amazon amazon no not spot no 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 not sponsored no amazon is the <laughs> Is is the one that's uh, live streaming it? Can you believe that? Yeah, Amazon. If you want to see Thursday night football, it's gonna be Amazon. Al Michaels and uh, Herb Street. Uh, what's what's his first name? I can't think. Uh, what's it? Herb? Wait, I don't. I wait. I gotta look. Kirk Herb Street. I I remember the Herb the the Herb Street, but I couldn't remember the rest of it. All right, you got to realize that I'm not spending all my time watching sports anymore. I used to, I used to do that, but not, not anymore. I don't have the time to do that. Hey, look, I got the the Greater Goods Nutrition Scale. Just, just telling you, that's a pretty good price. I did pick it up at, th I did pick it up at thirty seven dollars. I did see it at thirty two, but I have seen it as high as fifty seven. So if you're looking for something that's going to tell you how much salt, how much sugar, how much fat, how many calories, how much it weighs. If you want all that, this is the scale for you. The price is right at 39.88. It's not the it's not the best price, but it's a good price. I'm afraid it's going to go up before it goes down. That's what I'm afraid. Hey, I got this 
I got this um, ice machine. Last year, I didn't have an ice machine. This year, I got one, and it works out pretty good. I'm living the life of a guy with an ice machine, <laughs> and, it, and it works out good for me. It, you can find it as low as you you may see it at 100 it was 106 a few weeks ago you may see it hit somewhere around 100 105 it's possible hey you got the blue yeti it used to be at 79 unfortunately it went up to 98 yeah if you want something don't wait too long because it could it could definitely oh you dale you got that one yeah it works pretty good for me i mean uh the main thing is that you're not running a water line but you you bring the water to it when you need it. That's all. It's not like you got to do it every day. You know, you don't need to do it every day. And if you have it in the kitchen, like I don't have it in the kitchen, but if you had it in the kitchen, it's not that much work. It doesn't take that long to put a half gallon of water in it. It doesn't take that long. Hey, I got the I got the Bose noise canceling headphones. These these headphones. Let's see right here. Let me get back here. These headphones right here, I've been wearing them for like, I think, five months. And they work good for me. I, I don't mess with them too much because when they're working just like I want, I don't want to I don't want to change a thing. But that was the first time that I ever saw it 50 bucks off. That's the first time. First time. Another, another item that's at its low price is Samsung 43-inch TV. I used to talk about it when it was $4.97 last summer. Then $4.47. Then $3.97. Then $3.00. 77 now it's 347 that's the lowest price that i've ever seen because sooner or later we might see we might see inflation i don't know if it's going to continue it's been going down 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 but when you have increase of transportation and you got supply chain problems and you have you know all kinds of trade problems you could actually see it go up instead of down so it's at 347 hey i got the lucid the lucid mattress I got five of them. I bought them 10 years ago. The only thing is I didn't know they were called Lucid. I knew they were from Amazon, but I didn't know the brand until I started doing Amazon Live. And then I said, you know what? I better look them up. I better look it, look it up to see what I've got. And I found out it was Lucid. But the thing is, I sold so many Zenus ones that I keep the Zenus and the Lucid in my... Uh, I, I, I'll keep them in the in there because I'm not going to give up last year's sales. Last year's sales were good. How's the comfort with the Bose headphones with eyeglasses? It works. It works good. It works good. The if I if I if I would complain about anything, I would say that you know if it's hot, then you then it then it's it's warm. It'll definitely keep your ears warm. That's for sure. But for the glasses, the glasses have not been a problem. The glasses, um, I think, anytime you wear something for three hours straight, you're gonna you're gonna have to make adjustments. I think you see me. Ad I don't think you see me adjusted too much. I don't think you. I think you see me. Maybe you might see me move the glass. Maybe move the glass like like. You might see me move it, not because it's hurting me, like there's uh, pressure on my head or anything. It's just because I need to see better. That's all. <laughs> but now I got this computer with a 27-inch screen, and a 27-inch screen is so much easier than a 17. It's like I, it's the day like I got the like my note when I got my note. I remember when I got my first note. I couldn't believe it, because first of all, it was a big screen. Now, I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about the first one I got, which is a whole bunch, like a long time ago. But when I first got it, it was like, wow, look at that screen. That screen's so big. I think it's so cool. And then when they then when they told me you could go ahead and put your fingers like that and make the thing bigger, make the picture big, I was like, oh, I'm sold, right? I mean, it didn't take me long. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that's what I want. No, no question. I don't even have to. I don't care what it costs. I want it. Boom. Just like that. And then the notes just kept on coming out. But remember, Apple was small. Remember, the screen was small and Samsung was big. Look who made the move. Apple moved toward Samsung, not Samsung. Samsung didn't say, let's make it smaller like Apple. No, Apple said, let's make bigger screens. You see? Hey, watch out. You know, so they did okay. Now, I bought a TV. You know, I felt bad. You know, I felt bad for my notes. My Samsung Notes. I don't have the Samsung Watch, so I got a TV that it could communicate with. Yeah, the 43 inch. I, like I said, 347 is a great price, so it's it's easy to move around and stuff. Definitely easier, easy to move around. So that makes it 
makes it good. So it's the first TV that I got in like 10 years. So it was a big change for me. Now, did I know that things were getting better? Yeah, I just I just said I never just never had it. I have lucid lucid Bluetooth headphones. Ah, yeah, I I don't. Yeah, I guess that's two different. I guess that's two different companies there. But you never know. Today, things uh, a lot of a lot of things could be definitely related. Yeah, look at Intex. Intex makes all kinds of stuff. Let's see if I could get back to my live stream here. I'm working on it, working on it, working on it. Let's see. Did I? I think I got everybody listed. Yeah, I think I got everybody listed. Everybody listed. Everybody listed. All right. I think. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and do this first. Um, oh, I think I just have to, I don't know if Christina is still here. I could always add Christina in. I think. Let's see. I'm looking, looking, looking. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first uh the my my first food related um drawing. Okay, so it's gonna be real easy because there's not really many it's not really uh many people because nobody knows that I'm I mean not nobody, but not many people know I'm doing it. So um I'm limited to the number of people that showed up, so that's okay. It's going to be a little simpler. The same thing that happened last time. Last time, I, when I first got started, there was like, when I first got started last time when I did the drawings, I started with like 20 people. And then next thing you know, I got I built it up to, I think it was 60, I think. So it tripled, you know, as, as, as time went by. So, um, so this time, yeah, it's a lot, a lot less. In fact, I have more prizes to clip, to cut with the scissors than I do people. All right. So this is what I have. This is what I have. So you got to let me know if I don't have you in there. I got Jeff. I got Reagan. I got Sonny. I got Richard. I got Tink. I got Dale. I got Jay Singh. I got Jennifer Lude. I got Cookbook Diva. I got Busy. I got Freddie. I got Margaret. I got Dana. And I got Kmart Kelly. That's what I got. That's all I have listed. And I got, and I'll, and I'll go ahead and put Christina. I'll put Christina. Christina put me in one time. I don't, I don't get into the, when I show up and I talk to somebody, even if they're having a giveaway or whatever, I don't enter. I don't enter because I kind of try to stay in the background. But Christina entered me, even though I didn't, wasn't looking to get in one time. Yeah. So I gotta, I'm gonna do the same thing to her that she did to me. <laughs> she put me in there, yeah. Cause all I'll, all I'll do is if I win, I it, it ends up going right back out. All right, so I got Christina, Christina in here, and then I don't know if she's here, so I, uh, you know, I might have to, uh, to redraw, right? Yeah, okay. So let me see. Let me get this thing with Calvin. Let me get Calvin's hat. What I do is I go ahead and I and I pull it out of Calvin's hat. So I went I went get his hat. Okay. So I went ahead. This is going to be a two two step process. I'm going to do the name and then I got to put the prizes in the in the hat too. So pardon my uh slow speed. But this is old school. All right, Christina Nitchie, I got Kmart Kelly, I got Dana, the one and only. See, Dana, you don't even have to say the last name. We all know who Dana is. We got Margaret, and we got Freddie. All right. And we got Busy. We got Cookbook Diva. We got Jennifer Lude. We got Jay Singh. We got Dale. We got Tink. We got Richard. Oh, I should be looking up, right? But if I look up, I might <laughs> cut my finger. <laughs> I got Sonny. I got Reagan. And I got Jeff. All right, that's what I got. All right, let's see. Let me see. Uh, if I don't have you listed, please let me know real quick. Please let me know so I can put you in the first. So I can put you in the stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
One time I did food. I'm talking about food where you actually send the food to somebody. I did that one time. And uh, Dana's the one that won. <laughs> Dana's the one that won. Yep, sure did. She. So the first prize that anybody ever won for me was Dana. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see, let's see. Cutting time. Yeah, Jeff knows about cutting time. It got crazy. Oh, uh, let's see. Down. Put there. Put Darren in. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't have Darren in. Okay, I'll put Darren. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I don't want to leave nobody out. I don't want to leave nobody out. Uh, Darren, Darren, Darren. Yeah, I'm closing it. Yeah, I'm closing it. I just want to keep it simple this time, so I'm closing it early. So there's not many. There's not a whole bunch of people. There's only like it seems like 15 or 16 people. I guess, uh, but the deal is, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get Darren in. Definitely. There you go. Dana's got it closed. She closed it up. All right, let me put Darren. Let me get Darren in. And like I said, the main thing is you got to be an adult. Okay. I know that uh, sometimes there's there's uh, some people that are not adults. <laughs> uh, but I think most of the people that are in here now are adults. But at times there's there's some people that are not adults. So don't I I would rather I want to keep it to, to adults. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see see see. All right. So we got Darren in. We got Darren in. All right. We got Darren in the in the deal. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? I got Darren. I got Darren. I got Darren. Darren, Darren, Darren. Got Darren. Don't worry, Darren. You're in. Uh, some of these names I've never seen before. Yeah, no. Some of the names are, are different. Yeah, you're right, Jennifer. That is definitely correct. So that means that there's extra people. And I did. See, here's the deal. When I was, uh, by the time I got to my 30th giveaway, I was just giving, I was just giving money away and was not gaining any followers whatsoever. I was flatlined. So what is the use of me continuing to give stuff away if I don't build my, you know, if I'm not building my business? So that's, I had to give it a break. So the thing is, once I gave it a, I don't know, 25 days, I don't know, 22 days, 25 days, I gave it a 25 day break. And then that's, you're, you're going to have new people enter into your, you know, you're going to get new followers because there's new people. Every day things change, but when you do it on a daily basis, you're going to get, you know, kind of the same people. So it's all, it's all, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got to be in the USA. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I should have, I should have, uh, I should have put that. You, you got to be an adult. I'm glad you said that. You got to be an adult and you got to be in the USA. It's a USA deal. Okay. It's you, you got to be in the USA. You got to be in one of the 50 States. You, you have to be, an adult, and you have to be around when I pull the name out of the hat. The main thing and the main reason for that is the fact that I don't know who, a lot of times I don't know how to get in touch with you. So that would not work out too good. So I need to make sure that by the time I go to sleep, that I know who won and I, that I could contact that person. In fact, I brought my, I brought my computer here so that, uh, so that I could, uh, that, that when the, when the, when it goes to my email, then I'll know that I contact that I'm that I'm in contact uh, with you know with the person. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the name first, and then we're gonna then it's gonna be interesting because then I'll put all the prizes. Uh, I'll put all the prizes in there. I think I think that's the best way to do it, right? Instead of picking a number, pull it out, pull it out of the hat. This is your chance to make a make your <laughs> to make your feelings known right now. Uh, I got 25 different items, 25 different frozen refrigerated items. It's National Frozen Food Month. I got 25 different items. Um, I think the, I guess the best way to do it is take the 25 items, put it in the hat, and then pick a pick an item out and whatever it is, you got that item. So it might be, for instance, it could be burritos and you win five dollars, or it could be taquitos and you win ten dollars, or it could be, uh burgers and win $13. Uh, those numbers are not necessarily right, but you know what I'm saying. So you got a chance to win 
five dollars seven fifty ten dollars twelve fifty fifteen dollars twenty dollars or twenty five dollars okay so so that's how that goes so instead of it being a five dollar deal you got a chance to have to win five times as much you got a chance that's that's the deal so that would be the best thing to do right go ahead and uh, and put all the Put all the uh, prizes in there and then pick one out of the hat. Is that the is that the way to go? Let me see. I'm I'm not looking at the I'm not looking at the comments. Uh cool. Ready. All right. Sounds like fun. Draw away. Okay, that's the way we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna do it. All right, so let's see what the deal is. This is Calvin's hat. Calvin's hat. I'm gonna pick a name. And and the winner is. I just hope that whoever the winner is, they're here. And I'm gonna, I'll put a, I'll put a two minute timer. If they don't show up in two minutes, two minutes. Last year, I mean, last time I did it, remember it was five, and that was too long. Okay, so I have, I have a name. I don't know what it is, but I'll find out real soon. Let's see what it is. And when it's all said and done, it is, it is Sunny. It's Sunny. It's Sunny. Sunny's the one that. Sonny's the one that won. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. What I'm what I'm gonna do, let's see. Sonny, 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 Sonny. Hold on. All right. Okay, what I'm going to do, since Sonny is going to be, <laughs> since Sonny is going to be my guest coming up this week, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do two people. So Sonny's going to win one, and then somebody's going to win another, okay? that I'm, That's the only way to, you know, I don't want, just because Sonny's going to be my guest, <laughs> of course, she wins. Wow, wow, look at that. So anyway, that's what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and pick another name. So it's going to be two, okay? So it's going to be two winners, two winners, two winners, two winners. Let's see what it is, two winners. And I'll pull the name, and and like I said, I hope whoever the winner is, they're here. Let's see who it is. Let's see what it is. And it is, it is, it's Busy. Busy's the winner. How about that? Busy, I did 30 giveaways, and Busy was one of the – so I already have I already know that I, I can get I can get in contact with Busy because Busy was the first person that went into my junk file. Yeah, Busy's in my junk file. Okay. So I got Busy and I got uh Sonny. So what I'm gonna do, let's see, let's see what the deal is. Now I need to cut up the I'm gonna cut up the prizes now. I'm gonna cut this is old school. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not uh I'm not I'm not technologically advanced. I don't have I know if I had 50 hours in a day I could be more advanced, but I don't have enough time in my day to figure out all that stuff. I just I just don't. Okay. Now one thing I do know is I want to take a picture of the prizes so I don't have to go reading all the little slips of paper. Um I want to go ahead and get that I uh, get that take I take a photo of that. So isn't that cool? I know I the thing that I don't want to happen is not to be able to get in touch with the person that wins. And I don't have to worry about that because I know Busy and I know Sonny. I know their contact information. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Here's how I put it together. I'm gonna tell you what the prizes are. This is the now remember. It's just to make it a little more fun instead of money. Instead of money, it just makes it a little more fun. Okay. If you saw any of my Amazon lives, you know, you know, I used to work with Ruiz Foods, El Monterey Burritos. I talk about them. I wanted to do the prize. I wanted to do the prize with the breakfast burrito, but it's, but it costs like twelve fifty, and I didn't, that was fine. I was like real happy. I'm, that's going to be the twelve fifty prize, okay? You know, like the gift card from Amazon for twelve fifty, and you do whatever you want with the money, okay? It's just that 
you're attached. You're just psychologically attached to the El Monterey uh, bacon and bacon and sausage cheese breakfast burrito, which is awesome, by the way. I tried selling breakfast stuff 30 years ago, and it didn't. People didn't want none of that where I work, you know, where I lived in in Mississippi and Louisiana. And I have a feeling it was kind of like that all over the, probably pretty much all over the country. But once all these fast food places advertise like crazy and we saw breakfast burrito, breakfast burrito, breakfast burrito, you know, over and over and over again over the years, all of a sudden we're willing to eat breakfast burritos. And now, now it works, but 30 years ago, it wasn't a big deal. But today it's, it's a much bigger deal. All right. So El Monterey, I'm, I'm, Talking about the eight burritos, the beef and bean. They do beef and bean, bean and cheese. They do red chili, green chili, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Chimichangas or whatever. Okay, so that's the $5 prize, the $5 gift card prize. If you get all right of French fries, that's the $5 prize. All right of French fries. You know, they got the steak fries, the, the tater tots. They got everything under the sun. The Deli Mex taquitos that I talk about all the time. I made it a $5 prize. It's a $5 prize. Nathan's onion rings that I talk about all the time. I made it a $5 prize. If you think about it, if you had $5, you could buy El Monterey, Orida, Deli Max, Nathan's. You could buy that with the $5 if you wanted to. All right. Johnsonville sauce. Well, I'm sorry. I put sausage, but I meant to put Johnsonville brats. They're a, it's a 19-ounce pack, and it's got the brats, and they do everything under the sun. They make it all kinds of different flavors, but that's the real deal. That's what you... I'm thinking when I come up with, when I came up with all, with all these things, I was thinking of two things. Final four that's next weekend in New Orleans. These are all things that you would want to eat. Oh, the breakfast burrito. The reason I didn't do the breakfast, um, I didn't explain. I'm sorry. The reason I didn't do the breakfast burrito is not, you're not going to eat a breakfast burrito at a final four, right? Are you? No. <laughs> you might like it, but I don't think anybody's going to, I don't think at, at nighttime, anybody's going to say, hey, y'all, I got some breakfast burritos for nighttime. No. I... Hey, it's still food, and it probably works, but I don't think people do that. That's why I left the bur burrito out of there. But Johnsonville brats, oh, yeah, definitely. That's a big deal. And I I talk about this all the time, and I worked with these guys a couple of, ye a couple of years, and they were out of S Seattle, Washington, and this is my favorite sauce ever. I always talk about KC masterpiece, but this 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 sauce is unbelievable. <laughs> if you like hot and sweet, if you like hot and you like sweet, you're gonna love this. And the reason I know this because I used to get all the Nielsen data. I know what sells and what don't sell. I mean everything in the frozen food department. I know it. I've crunched numbers like forever. I know it. This stuff sells a lot. And apparently people like sweet and sweet and hot. They probably do. All right, that's a five dollar prize. Tyson any tizers. You can have any type of uh, appetizer you can imagine made out of chicken. Seven dollars and fifty cents ought to do it. I got bluebell ice cream, half gallon, seven dollar fifty cent prize. Pilgrims chicken strips out of Texas. Yeah, seven dollar and fifty cent prize. Gordon's fish sticks made with whole fillets, a $7.50 prize. Jimmy Dean sausage, all kinds of different, all kinds of Jimmy Dean stuff, $7.50. Even though it's kind of, I'm sorry, it's kind of breakfast, but that's okay. Because they do make a lot of sandwiches. So I did it. Okay. Zatarans. Okay, here's the entree business. This is what I know a lot because I spent many years in the business. Zatarans, Bertoli, P.F. Chang, and Walla. That's four different entree companies. And that's the majority of the business right there. Those guys, those four companies do a, quite a bit of business, especially Bertoli, P.F. Chang, and Walla. And that's owned by ConAgra. Those are all $10 prizes. Mrs. T's Pierogies out of Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. CPAC Shrimp. You, they got the coconut shrimp. They got the fantail, the fantail shrimp. They got, well, if you want to, they got shrimp scampi, which is out of out of this world. Awesome. You serve that at a final four or a 
Amazon Thursday night football game, and people will say, man, that stuff is awesome. That's what they're going to say. I'll just tell you. Totino's Pizza Rolls. That's a $12.50 prize. Okay. There's a lot of pizza rolls served. And Totino's is like a monopoly. They kind of like got all that business. It's either Totino's, Totino's, or it's private label. Okay. $15 prizes. Hillshire Farms, whatever. They make so many different things. Sargento cheese. If you're making a sandwich, you need sliced cheese, and they make all kinds of stuff. Harmel. Harmel makes the pepperoni to make a pizza. So that that that's definitely Harmel makes a lot of stuff that goes well at a, a final four party. Okay, and then I put a cup and I put a couple $20 prizes in there. Rosina, they make Italian. They make home style. They make turkey. They make they make uh, Angus beef. They make Swedish. For me, one thing that was really good is Swedish. Swedish meatball with beef gravy, awesome, fantastic. Not everybody's gonna like it. Okay, it's one of those things that not everybody's gonna like because of the seasoning that they use. Not everybody's gonna like that, but I love it. I'm just saying, just love. It. Okay, DiGiorno pizza, major. Yeah, they sell a lot of pizza, tons of pizza. Yeah, I like the four meat. That's what I like. Yeah, the four meat pizza. With $20, I think you could buy some pizza, you know. And then the, the two big prizes, the two bigger prizes. Okay, all right. I know it's not $100 or anything like that, but the $25 prizes are Bubba Burgers. Now, you know, the Bubba Burger, yeah, they make every burger you could possibly imagine. Just like... uh the, the Blue Diamond Almonds, they make all the different almonds. These guys make all the different burgers. They even do the plant-based burgers. They try to satisfy everybody. If you want a burger, they try to satisfy you. So if you got the whole product line, you should be able to find something you like. Anyway, $25, you ought to be able to buy some burgers, you know. And then last but not least, and I think it's appropriate for football, for Amazon Thursday Night Football, this this year now in 2022 at the end of this you know in September Amazon live is going to live stream NFL football games on Thursday night and the, and the big prize for me was Tyson chicken wings cuz I think there's nothing bigger you know for a football party or or the the New Orleans final four um uh, next week if you're serving chicken wings and with $25, you ought to be able to buy some chicken wings. So that's the prizes. That's 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 all I did. I tried to make it a little different. And it's all related to fr Frozen Food Month. It's related to Final Four in New Orleans next, next week. And it's kind of related to getting ready for Thursday Night Football on Amazon. How about that? All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully I'm still. Hopefully I didn't. Oh, hopefully I didn't. In my place. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's. Let me see. I'm coming. Da, da, da. Okay. All righty. 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 New name. No busy. No busy. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what happened here. Let me see if what I did, what I, what happened, what happened. Okay, busy one, busy one. I'm looking back at, like the old school, don't be sorry. Yeah, uh, yep, hello, friends. Hey, Teresa, hey, how's it going? Hey, Teresa, five years, five years later. Oh, well, let's see, Dana. Oh, Teresa. I think Randall got sidetracked, you think? <laughs> See, no speak. Oh, no. Let's see. Let's see. Did I go away? I don't know. All right. Hopefully I didn't go away. Hopefully I didn't go away. Hopefully I'm not frozen. Am I frozen? No, I don't think so. Hopefully, I don't. 
I'm checking audio just to make sure. Okay, I hear this. Okay, I hear that. Okay, good. All right. So I'm cutting it. All right, I'm cutting the names up. I mean, cutting up the prizes and see what happens here. All right. But, uh, see if I. Uh, all right, we got the the twenty five twenty five dollars for the Bubba Burgers. We got the Tyson chicken wings at $25. We got DiGiorno at $20. We got Rosina at $20. We got Hormel at $15. I'm looking and looking and looking. Sargento at $15. We got Hillshire at $15. Let's see. We got Totino's pizza rolls at $15. I had twelve fifty. I'm sorry. All right. We got the C pack at twelve fifty. All right. And we got the pierogies at twelve fifty. All right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm getting. Uh, I'm trying to. Trying to. I said I was going to finish today. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to get there. I'll get there. I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay, I got the Walla at 10 I got the P.F. Chang at $10. I got the Bertoli at $10. I got the Zatarans at $10. I got the, the Jimmy Dean. The Jimmy Dean at seven at seven fifty. I got the Gortons. At seven fifty, I got the Pilgrims. At seven fifty, I got the Blue Bell ice cream in the gallon. In the gallon, <laughs> seven fifty. You got the Tyson Any Tizers at seven fifty, and then I got Innovation Cuisine at five bucks. Johnsonville sausage or brats on the brats at five dollars. I got the Nathan's. Uh, onion rings at five dollars. I got the deli mix taquitos at five dollars. I got the Orida french fries at five dollars, and I got the El Monterey at five dollars. All right, okay, all right, I'm gonna mix it up and see what the deal is. All right, 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 all right. jumping in, see what hey, okay. <laughs> Thanks for uh, hanging in there with me. I didn't mean to go over two hours. I was going to try to stay under two hours today. Thanks so much. Mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. And the, and the winning thing is CPAC. CPAC shrimp at uh, $12.50. That's the first that's the uh, that's the winner. Twelve dollars and fifty cents. Busy. You won twelve dollars and fifty cents. So <laughs> it it uh, that's the way it goes. Okay. So it didn't end up being the five dollars. It didn't end up at the seven fifty. It didn't end up ten dollars. It was twelve fifty. So that's pretty that's pretty good. I that I think. I guess. I hope. I'm hoping anyway. So twelve dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. Uh, Sonny Sonny uh, asked me not to. Uh, not to uh, go ahead and use her as the winner because she's going to be a guest. She's going to be my guest this week. She just happened to look. It's not like she asked me to put her in or anything. I did it on my own. You know, I just did it on my own. But uh, since she's going to be a guest of mine this week, uh, uh, she she decided to, yeah, to, uh, you know, so that's why I'm not doing that. All right. So anyway, she's going to be a, she's going to be my guest on, on March the 28th, which is this Thursday. And it's going to be kind of about live streaming. That's that's what we're going to talk about. But she lives in Seattle. I live in, you know, I'm from Louisiana. So, I, you know, I talk about all the Cajun stuff. She talks about stuff from the Northwest. And she's been around different different places too. 
So uh, we're just going to talk about stuff on Amazon. That's kind of kind of how that goes. All right, let me see if it. Let me see the comments. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do a sec. We're gonna go ahead and do a second winner. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do a second winner. We're gonna go ahead and turn it. Turn it in. All right. It got it got complicated. We're gonna go with a second winner. I hope I hope y'all didn't leave. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's true. That's true. I can't. Uh I gotta go back to my. All right, let me see. Let me take the names. All right, going going to pick another winner. So Busy wins the first one at twelve dollars and fifty cents, and then we're gonna go ahead and take another. We're gonna go ahead and take another name. All right, we got another name. Let's see what it is. And the second name is. Let's see what it is. It is Dale Hisher. Dale wins. Uh oh. Oh man, I can't. I can't get it in focus. Okay, Dale. Dale won. Dale. Let's see. Dale is Dale here. Hopefully, Dale's here. Hopefully, Dale didn't head out. Let's see. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Is Dale still here? Dale. 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 Is Dale still here? Hopefully. Uh oh, I saw woohoo. Did I see woohoo? <laughs> I did see woohoo. Okay, Dale's here. All right. Now I gotta throw all the stuff back in. I gotta throw stuff back into the hat. Okay, good. All right. Uh Dale, you need to uh you need to send me your address, Dale. I'm gonna go ahead and put the address here. Let's see, let's see, let's see before. Before I lose my connection or something like that, you know, that happens. All right, here you go, Dale. You need to send it to that address. Send me your contact information. Send me all the information that I would need just to be able to get in contact with you. Whatever you want to send, whatever you want to send, just send it on over to me so that I can contact you and I can get you the. So I got busy. I got I got busy. Busy, you could hey, if you're still around, you could send me your address again. You can go ahead and send it again if you don't mind. All right. Made in USA Foods at Outlook. All right, let's see. I'm going to put the put the uh, prizes back in. Put the prizes back in and see what this one ends up. First one was $12.50. The second one will be yeah, let's see. The second one. Second one is. Let's see. Second one is. Whoa. Second one is El Monterey Burritos. El Monterey Burritos. That's the second one. El Monterey. The first one was twelve fifty. The second one was El Monterey, and that's five bucks. Five bucks. Okay. By the way, did Arkansas win? Dale and El Monterey. Okay. Did um, Arkansas. Okay. I just saw Duke won. Okay. All right. So now I know. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, Dana. Yeah, Dana. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, that's what I'm always looking for. That's what I'm always looking for, the fakes, for the imposters. And I'm going to try to do a better. Yeah, the thing, the, the good. Yeah, so Dale, that's the only thing. That's all I need. Dale is your, your contact information. Like Busy, he's in my junk. He's in my junk file already. He's in my junk file, so I got that already. All right, Richard. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks so much for hanging in there. Randall, that busy showed up eight minutes after. That busy. 
No, I had busy already. Not the doll. All right. All right, let's see. Let me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, the only thing, Jennifer, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't do it intentionally. I just tried to get it, tried to get it done. I got to get better, Jennifer. Got to get better. Yeah. Don't. Well, today, today, remember, there's three. It was going to be one prize and ended up being two. So there was one. It ended up being, yeah, it ended up being two anyway. Well, that wasn't a good way to start, I guess. Uh, and then I got to, of course, I got to, I got to watch out for the fakes. Because that, they... The fakes definitely, uh, yeah, it's a shame, but that's what you get. Let's see. Oh. Uh, let's see. I'm looking. Ah. Uh, here we go. Let's see. I'm looking. All right. I'm going to have to. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead. This I'm gonna go ahead and pick a third winner. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, Dale, thanks so much. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a third winner. All right. Uh I'm not. Uh I'm I this is not gonna be the way it works. Okay. Uh when I do this, that doesn't mean I'm gonna do three. Just because I do that today doesn't mean I'm gonna do this every day. Uh oh. <laughs> uh Uh, it's, it's, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be kind of, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to leave it with uh, whatever I got already set. Cause it's going to, it's definitely going to, it's going to complicate things. I don't want to get it too much more complicated, but I'm going to go ahead and put another, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put another, uh, name. Let's see. I'm going to put the... Uh, 
All right. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm going through the name. Somebody else is going to be a third winner. Third winner. Third winner. Third winner. Third winner. Let's see what it ends up being. Yeah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to keep everybody happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> just trying to keep everybody happy. Okay, so I got a name. I have no idea who it is. Let's see. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. All right, let me let me move back here. All right, let's see. Hold on, let me. See. Kmart Kelly. Uh, I guess I just imagined a pick in my. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. all right i'm afraid to, i'm afraid to show it i'm afraid to show it i don't know what it's gonna be hopefully 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 it's hopefully it's somebody that's here and hopefully they show up right away okay all right let me just say this you gotta be here you can't win you can't win if you're you can't win if you're not here you gotta be a you, you gotta be uh, living in the U.S. and you got to be an adult, okay? And it's nice if you follow me. But hey, by the way, if you're watching right now and you're not following me, hit the follow button. I could use an extra follower. Let me let me check and see where I'm at. I'm at 1088. Let's see if I got to 1090. I would like to. I wish I got to 1090 at least. It would be the the best. Um, if you have enough on your hand. <laughs> I'm tired of arguing. If you need to. Okay. Uh, yeah, I gotta get. I gotta get the. Uh, I gotta get the uh, address anyway because I don't have the address yet. But I will. Um, where's? Yeah, Dale. What's your? Uh, what's your last three? The last three letters in your email address. And I'm going to go ahead and check it. The last three letters in your email address. Oh, Rome's here. Hey, how's it going, Rome? Uh, I'm trying to, I was, I'm trying to, trying to be a little creative, but it, get, it gets a little complicated. Okay, let's see. I still don't know what the winner is. So let's see what the red, you got to be kidding. <laughs> it's one of the oldest, one of the first guy, first people that actually followed me. Yeah, and I actually know I actually know where he's from. And he and he's on he's on Amazon all the time and he's always making comments. It's Freddie. Freddie. It's Freddie. Freddie from California. Freddie Juan. You got to be kidding. It's Freddie. <laughs> Freddie, Freddie. Let's see. Freddie, Freddie. Is Freddie still here? Is Freddie? Freddie? Yeah, hey, Freddie's here. He's here. Okay, Freddie, you got to send me your address. You got to send me your contact information to Made in USA Foods at Outlook. Yeah, Freddie. Freddie. Oh, oh Freddie. Freddie, Freddie. Yeah, let's see. Freddie. Yeah, Freddie never won. Freddie never won, but he won this time. How about that? Freddie is ready. Yep. Let's see. I don't know what he. I don't know what he won. You'll take whatever whatever's in the hat. Let me see what's in Calvin's hat. I gotta see. Okay, Dale. I I'm gonna check it. Uh, Freddie's gotta send me his stuff too. Did you say you last the last three letters of your email address? The last three. The last three. The last three. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's Freddie. Let me put Freddie there so I know. Uh, let's see. Freddie. Let's see what Freddie got.
All right. Uh, let me write. Let me write what. Let me write what they want. All right, got to put the stuff back in for Freddie. Let me let me go back here. Okay, putting the stuff back in for Freddie. Freddie don't know what he won, so we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what Freddie won. Got got it in Calvin's hat. Got it in Calvin's hat. Let's see what Freddie won. What did Freddie win? Freddie win. He won something, but he doesn't know what he won. All right, let's see. All right, here's Freddy. Let's see what he got. <sighs> Here we go. And Freddy won. Wow, Freddy. Freddy got the Sargento cheese. That's a $15 gift card. He got $15. Wow. So I got a so I got a so I got a $12.50, uh 15 and a five. Okay, Sargento, fifteen dollars. Sargento, you don't have to buy. You don't have to buy Sargento cheese. Sargento cheese, but that's that was your lucky. That's your lucky thing, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's tied to Sargento. I, everybody knows Sargento, I would imagine. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Da da da. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Good. Yeah, so so uh, Freddie, you sent me your email address and what's your last three the last three letters of your your email address before the at sign, you know, before the at sign. Yeah, uh, Dana is one of the old. Yeah, Dana's one of the oldest too. But uh, I, I'm just gonna say, in the early days, I remember Rosalinda. Rosalinda was one of the one of the very early ones, and you know why that was? Because in the early days, I was like on it at, at uh, one o'clock in the morning, and I had the California crowd. So yeah, so uh, Freddie was <laughs> Freddie was one, and Rosalinda from the early days. But as far as the first winner ever, it was Dana. Dana, yeah, and then it, then as far as uh, I could also say that one of the first times I ever saw David stream, I think I saw I think Dana was on there. Our Dana, Dana was one of the, you know, followers or whatever. Yeah, Dana's old. Yeah, she's old. She's almost 30, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, she, I mean, in in uh, in Amazon time, uh, yeah, she's been around for a long time. All right. Okay, Freddie. Thanks. Yeah, thanks so much. I, I appreciate that. I'll go ahead and uh, get that. Uh, let me put a. Let me go ahead and put the fifteen dollars on the deal with Freddie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me let me see something. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I think um, I 
I think uh, the email for Freddie just came through. So let me, I got the computer in a different part of the office because I got things all over the place. I will be right back. I will be right back. In fact, in fact, let me go ahead and uh, play my, uh, let me go ahead and play my timer. Let me go confirm. Let me go confirm Freddie's uh, address and I will see you in a second. Okay, that's it. I got it. I got it all. I got it all taken care of. So let me uh, congratulations to Freddie. Fifth, you know, fifteen bucks with Sargento. Uh, busy was. Let's see. Bu busy was with. Uh, let's see. Busy was with CPAC. Twelve dollars and fifty cents. That's your. You know your. So the the, the deal is. Look, that's twenty five different items. That if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to use it to get stuff to put in your air fryer or your cooker or your skillet or your whatever, whatever you would want to put it in, you got some, you got, you, you got the, the money to buy something to put in your thing. But you can use the, the gift card for whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not a problem. I just tried to make it a little different. That's all. Okay. Uh, let me. Let me, uh, yeah, let me go back here. I got your, hey, Dale, I got your email. I got it. Freddie, I got, I just got your email. So I got that. And Busy, I got your, I got yours. Yours, Busy is the same. I already had it before, but I, I, I asked him to go ahead and send me another one just, uh, you know, just to have it there. Yeah. So anyway, that's, uh, it's over. It's a triple, triple winter night, a <laughs> triple winter night. Okay. Wow. That's a, uh, uh, something I didn't expect. I didn't expect to go into triple time. All right. We got two more games tomorrow to see who's going to be heading to New Orleans for the final four. Um, wouldn't that be something if the big underdog from New Jersey wins <laughs> tomorrow? Wouldn't that be something? That would be something. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. I did. I did. I did a poll on that this morning. Okay. Uh, I asked a question uh, on LinkedIn. I asked the question, the final four starts next weekend in New Orleans. Which underdog stamps a ticket to the Caesars Superdome? Is it Arkansas, St. Peter's, Houston, or Miami? And when it was all said and done, number one answer was St. Peter's, even though, <laughs> yeah, St. Peter's was 48% of the vote. 26% of the vote went to Arkansas, 17% went to Houston, and 9% went to Miami. So that's what it is. I said it for a very short period of time because I didn't want the poll to last forever because then people after the poll's over, they could say, oh, I knew they were going to win. Yeah, okay, so I got that taken care of. All right, let's see. Let me see what else I have in the, um, in the poll category. Uh, today was National Spinach Day. Yeah, today was National Spinach Day. I asked the question, you know, Papa, I love spinach, but do you? Do you love spinach? When it was all said and done, and I got a good bit of feedback here, 77% of the people say, yes, I do. 23% of the people said, I don't like spinach. Nope, 23%. So basically, three quarter, basically 75, three out of four people like spinach. Yeah. One thing I can tell you is that chicken Alfredo, no, chicken Florentine from Bertoli, Bertoli's chicken Florentine is like the one of the greatest best selling skillet meal ever. It was expensive, but it sold extremely well. And that's that was the only, I think the only skillet meal that had spinach in it. Of all the of all the different types of skillet meals, that was the only one that had spinach and it did well. All right, I asked the question since Easter is coming 
very, very fast. I asked the question, what's your favorite Easter candy? Is it Cadbury, Reese's, Peeps, or M&M's? M&M's changes color. You know how they are. They change everything according to the holidays. Same thing with the Peeps. Peeps do the same thing. So when it was all said and done, number one answer was Reese's peanut butter eggs. The Reese's peanut butter egg was at 52%. Yeah, that's dominating there. But, you know, I like those Cadbury cream eggs, too. And they got 22% of the vote. M&M's got 16% and Peeps got 10 That's how that came out. Hey, I asked a question. You know, the other day was National uh, Cheese Steak Day. And that's a big deal in Philly, especially if you're from Philly. It's a big deal there. I asked the question, what's your favorite sandwich? Is it a Philly cheese steak, a corned beef, or pastrami? Whatever, you know, pastrami, uh, pastrami on rye, whatever, okay? A fried shrimp pull boy, you know, preferably from... You know, with the shrimp coming from the Gulf of Mexico, fried in New Orleans, preferably. Or a ham and cheese sub. Submarine, hoagie, whatever you want to call it. When it was all said and done, I couldn't believe this, but 62% of the people said Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, 62%. 18% said a fried shrimp po' boy. And most of them come from New Orleans. 15% said a corned beef or pastrami sandwich. And then 5% said ham and cheese. That's how that came out. Hey, the other day it was National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. Ask the question, what's your favorite chocolate covered whatever? Number one answer was chocolate covered almonds, 40%. Yeah, 40% on the almonds. Chocolate covered raisins got 26. Chocolate covered peanuts got 18. And chocolate covered cashews got 16. I like those cashews. I showed that to you a little earlier. Yeah, here it is. Sconza chocolate covered cashews. It's on Amazon. It's out of Oakdale, California. They dip it in white chocolate. They dip it in chocolate. Best chocolate covered cashew I ever had. Yeah, it's, the cashews are imported, you know, because we don't have cashews local. But the, it's it's made in California. And then, you know, just I just so happened to have, if I could find it, if I lost it. Yeah, I, I picked up some goobers the other day. That's the chocolate-covered peanuts. You got chocolate-covered raisinets, <laughs> the raisins, and then you got the goobers. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me see. I don't mind. Oh, no. Mm. Getting hard to bend down and go pick up something off the floor. All right. Let's see where I'm at. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think everybody has to probably go to bed. Hey, Dana, thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Dale, I'll tell, I'll tell Calvin good night. He's probably somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Yep, Sonny's hitting the sack. Yeah, I didn't mean to keep you all that long. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> all right. Okay, Jeff, I will see you later. Jeff was the first one on the stream, I think. I think you were first. Oh, you ate your Reese's egg. Oh, man, those Reese's eggs are good. But the Cadbury, too. Those are two great, great ones. Love Reese's. Are those fruit? Are those nut-free? No. Not, not the, not the goobers. No, they got, they got peanuts in it. Don't go to sleep. Good night, Randall. All right, Dale. We'll see you later. All right, let's see. Let me continue. Let me finish up on my, my carousel here while I'm at it. Let's see where I'm at. I had lucid. Yeah, I got the Honeywell. Honeywell, the Honeywell thermostat had gone down in price to 120. I think it was 123 yesterday, and that was a pretty good price. Last year, it hung out at one in the 130s and 140s. This is a thermostat that's pretty, that's pretty, um, that's pretty smart. Yeah, because 25 years ago it was smart, but it didn't have the we didn't have the Wi-Fi. Now we got the Wi-Fi. Now you could set it, you could set the thermostat at your house, even if you're a thousand miles away. No, T TWB, no, it doesn't come with electricity. You got to provide your own electricity. <laughs> yeah, 
the Nespresso, the Nespresso coffee. Yeah, the Nespresso um, espresso machine. It started the year at 319. That was the highest price I ever saw it at. It went from 319, then it went to 299, then 289, then 279, and then it went to like 268, and it was at 262. I don't remember all the details, but it just kept on going further down, further down, further down. 262 is not a bad price. That's a very good price. If you're looking for Nespresso, you might, you might, uh, you might give it some thought because some of these items, you know, inflation is definitely going to hit the price for sure. Yeah. Seagate, you got the Seagate hard drive. This particular hard drive, I put this in my carousel probably about five months ago at 359 and it did really well because the price was right. Then it went all the way to 539. 539. It stayed there for a while. That was the regular price for a while. And in fact, they don't show that right now. Yeah, the uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's up to you, TWB. You could do it. You that's your deal. You uh, you make your own decisions on what you what you do there. Yeah, I don't give. I'm I'm not into the limitations on when somebody ought to be drinking espresso or not. No, that's. That's uh, all right. Anyway, you got the, the sofa love seat here at 269 last last summer. It pretty much hung out at 249 the whole time. I think inflation kind of got it. Hey, screaming for ice cream. I didn't even know you were. I I, I didn't even. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see you. I didn't see you drop in. You must have dropped in on the later side, I guess. Yeah, you just came, Mark Kelly. All you gotta do is hit hit that. Uh, Hit the hit the item in the carousel and it's going to show you all the smaller ones. You got you can go two different ways. You could go to Western Digital. Western Digital has slightly different pricing, and then of course you could go to the smaller ones. You got you got all kinds of different choices there. But the deal is, uh, all I got to tell you is 16, uh, 16 gigabytes is uh, is a bunch. You know, I'm sorry, uh, uh, not gigabytes. But anyway, that's that's a pretty big that's a pretty big hard drive, and uh, yeah, you, most people don't need that much for sure. Okay, let's see. The Lavoid air purifier. I put the Lavoid air purifier because that's a air purifier that that most people are willing. You know, ninety nine ninety nine is something uh, a price that's something that they will spend to get into it because if you start out at 599 or 399 they may not they may not like it as much as they think they will so the thing is i i say just go ahead and start off with one the the lavoie is one of the is one of the major players and uh a lot of people start off with one they like it and they add it in other rooms you could add that second that third that fourth depending on when you can afford it depending on when it's on deal because if it goes on deal if it goes to 79 in three weeks you might want to get that second one if the first one works out we don't know where pricing is going to go but it's been at 99 for a while you got the 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 walt miter saw here this particular this is a saw that uh, when we when we went through Hurricane Katrina, we found ourselves that we needed to buy a lot of uh, tools to kind of put things back together. This was one of the ones that we got here. We ended up getting the the miter saw, and this is probably one of the easiest things that that this miter saw is ever going to have to do. Hey, if you need to go ahead and cut a piece of wood, the wall's the way to go. It'll get it'll get the job done. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that's about as easy as it gets. I even got the, I even had the big drill, but I, I needed to just put one drill in the plank and uh, this kind of, this kind of did it. Hey, if you need to go ahead and put a screw in your uh, steps, uh, the wall's the way to go. That's it.
that's it. In that case, it was a little overkill, you know. Uh, and you, you have to watch that you don't strip the screw because that's got some power. But I did. I do have. Uh, we got one heavy duty drill. We got one lighter one. And my wife bought even a lighter one. She just got one to do some cleaning. In fact, I heard that these brushes that go with it work out pretty good, too. So anyway, yeah, so we got three DeWalt drills now. So we're we're definitely into the DeWalt situation. So it works. You know, if you if you buy one thing and it works, you buy a second, a third, a fourth. So we're we're on our oh, I'm sure we're on our fifth or sixth DeWalt item. Of course, we'd like to have all of them. I'd like to get the one that's right there in the carousel, but you can't. You only got so much room in your house, so many things that you can do. Hey, look, got the Apple Watch Series 7. I got the Fitbit. I got a five-year history with this Fitbit. In fact, you know, if you know me, yeah, five years ago, I, I was able to knock off a few pounds. Yeah. In fact, 51 pounds to be exact. Yeah, I was eating a little too much in 2016 and 2017. I had to I had to write the ship really quick. And the Fitbit, I had the Fitbit Blaze. Yeah, I had the Fitbit Blaze. And like I said, I wore it for three weeks. And then once I realized how cool it was and how, how well it worked, it kept track of what I burned. So I decided to uh, uh, go ahead and jump in with both feet. And I ended up... Uh, Knocking off the pounds. In fact, Fitbit contacted me and said, hey, what did you do? What did you eat? How, can we see what you ate? Can we download your data? Can we, you know, can you, can we get your data? Yeah. So they checked it out. And uh, yeah, 51 pounds in 17 weeks doesn't usually happen too often. Uh, but I really worked hard at it. And I wish I, I hope I never have to do that again because that was, that was a lot of work, a lot of work and a lot of backing off on certain foods that you really like, you know, like ice cream and cheesecake and candy. <laughs> yeah, you had to back off a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, so it was uh, it was tough, but I did it. So if you do it once, that means you can do it again and I might have to do it. But the only thing is I won't have to lose 51 pounds. Good thing. You know, 20 might 20 might be good. I'd love to lose 20. That would work good. All right, let's see. Let me get back to where I was. I'm going to try to find out where I was. Yeah, so anyway, it doesn't matter what Fitbit you get into. You get their app, and it really, it re it's really, really nice. Uh, in fact, you can see I, I went from 29.9% uh, fat all the way down to 20.1. Talk about a big difference. That was a huge difference. Huge difference. But it, it got done. So I could tell the story. And that's why that's my number one selling item. Fitbit. Fit, oh, well, Fitbit. The Fitbit brand. That's what my number one selling brand. My number two brand is uh, Black & Decker. Just happens to be Black & Decker. Yeah, so the... Uh, okay, plus they use the same batteries. The batteries... Kmart Kelly, what, what batteries are you talking about? The batteries for Yeah, I went I went put the purple leaf um gazebo in here because uh things like gazebos are definitely gonna go up in price. And I think last summer this was $29.99 all summer long. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a lot of the battery. Yeah, a lot of the batteries are the same, so it, it definitely uh, it definitely helps. Yeah, the more battery, the more power you have, the better off you are. Cause nothing like uh, uh, taking the dead battery off and putting the one that's up fully charged. Yeah, so that definitely uh, definitely helps out. Yeah, so this uh, purple leaf gazebo, it's really nice to have, and even if you don't have any interest in getting a gazebo, just click it and check it out. Just blow it up on your computer. It's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, so I wouldn't mind having it in the backyard. And I think a lot of people would probably agree with that. Hey, I got the Duramax, the Duramax generator. When I started on Amazon back in Amazon Live on May 1st, it was right after I had fixed my roof from Hurricane Zeta. Yeah, Zeta kind of, 
Zeta kind of tore us up. Yeah, kind of tore us up. At first, I didn't think it was my shingles that were in my front yard. But later down the road, I found out, that, yes, they were my shingles and I needed to change the roof. So I so I had to change the roof. And then next thing you know, I get approved for Amazon Live. So what do you think I'm going to talk about? I'm going to talk about getting ready for hurricane season. Hurricane season is going to be here in no time. Yeah, right around the corner. Yeah, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not put together. You got to put them together. But they got all the materials you need to put them together, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, as long as you don't end up with any extra pieces or you're short of any pieces, as long as you got all the pieces, that it's – it's. Um, I, I don't have any experience putting that one together, but uh, – just like anything, it takes it takes a little work to get it together. Yeah. So anyway, the Duramax, the Duramax is what you what everybody would like to have if they're they lost their power. See, see for the hurricane for Hurricane Ida, for instance, my house in New Orleans lost the power for like eleven days. My house in Mississippi lost power for one hour. So the thing is, it's just good to have as a backup. It's one of those things that you could buy it and never use it. But if you don't use it, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a real good thing. That means you never got hit by a hurricane. You never got hit by a uh, snowstorm, um, ice storm. And you never got, uh, you live in a city where the where the city knows how to keep, keep the energy going to you. Yeah, so that happens. But yeah, a lot of people have that on their wish list. I think that's probably one of the things that everybody's got on their wish list. They would like to have that. Yeah, except, except it ties up a, a little bit of your money. Hey, I put the Zenus in here because this particular uh, mattress was like in my top five most of the year until the treadmill got crazy and the and the Fitbit got crazy and it had to settle for being like ranked number eight for the year. But I sold a lot of Zenus last year and uh, I guess I, I'm going to sell a few Lucid this year too. So kind of working on two mattress brands there. Hey, you got the Toshiba microwave oven because after, you know, after being in the frozen food industry for 35 plus years, uh, I kind of used a few microwave ovens, a lot of them. Yeah. To, to heat a lot of different foods. Yeah. If you sell food for a living, what you do, you spend a lot of time heating food up and that's what I did. I ran into a lot of Toshibas and they, they worked out pretty good. Look, you got 27,355 reviews on this one. Sometimes you just want a basic one like this Gallants. This is the toaster oven, but it's cool. It's in retro red, but you can get the microwave oven that that matches that. And you can get a refrigerator too if you want. That's from Gallants. But that's if you want to just do the basic stuff. You know, if you want to heat up that coffee or heat up that burrito. You know that that particular that particular oven would kind of work. I'm talking about the microwave version of that toaster oven. That would work pretty good. But if you get a little more complicated stuff, then the Toshiba kicks in. Hey, look! I saw the winter. I've been talking about the. I've been saying this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I've been saying that the winter has been. I put it in the carousel at 5:25 last year. And it stayed between 525 and 475, 525 and 475. But now I got to change my story because it just went up to 526. And it did go down to like 459. I think 459 is, a, is its all time lowest price ever. I think pretty sure it was 459 because it broke out of that. Because you know, I'm looking at five and a quarter, 475. It's plus or it's plus or minus 25. That's easy to remember. And then it messed it up when it broke through the <laughs> broke through the you know I get the 475, but one day it broke through and went to 459. Uh here's another generator. Like I say, oh I know uh, uh Chuck, I know all the little everybody's got a different everybody's got a different a pricing structure. Everybody does different things. I'll just give you an example. Some people put out a price and they stay at that price forever and ever. And they don't move and they don't want to move. They never do a price change. It stays the same. Then you got then you got Westinghouse. Westinghouse goes from $9.99 to $10.49 to $11.49. And I think even $12.49. I think they hit $12.49 one time. 
but they stay pretty much in that 1049 to 999 ballpark. They stay a lot of time there, and that's kind of what they do. But then when you get to like the the hedge, the, the hedge trimmer that I told you about. Look, look, if you need a hedge trimmer, man, you got to get that black and decker hedge trimmer. That's the lowest price I ever saw. $97. It's a 22 inch hedge trimmer. It's got the battery. You know, you, you put three screws on one side, three screws on the other, and then you charge the battery and you're in business. That's a, that's the greatest price I've been on for 324 days in a row. I know I've been watching it for that long. 97 is the lowest price ever. And if you want to see the highest price ever, wait till the summer starts. Wait, wait. So if you need one, I would buy one. I'd buy I'd buy that edge trim. But what I was going to tell you is that they're they're a little different. When they went to 98 last year, they went to 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, and then would go down by a dollar, up a dollar, down a dollar, down two dollars, down three. They stayed within that range, and that's what they did for a long time. And then they would jump to another range and they would they would do that plus dollar, you know, so they 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 just change the price all the time. It's hard to keep track, but they have a particular style, you know, that they that they do it. Hey, I got the temptations in here. Look, I had somebody uh, uh, gave me this and I was and I was feeding the cat and the cat went crazy. Yeah. And then I started talking about it on Amazon. And then uh, there's a lot of Amazon customers that say yeah they did the same thing their cat went crazy yeah there's several people that have told me that this temptation stuff is really good and it is one of the top selling items it kind of stays in the top 20 all the time so i figured i talk about human food all the time so why not talk a little bit about the cat food right hey this item did real well for me last year the bravo oven it stayed at $399 last year. It stayed there. It was at $389, $391, $393, $397, $398, $399. $399. It jumped around. It jumped around quite a bit within $10. Within $10. But then one day, I don't know why, it went all the way down to two, went all the way down to $319. It went down $80. Bucks. You see? So it stayed within a range for a long, long time. And then one day it dropped. You see, so you never know what's going to happen. See, I bet you they do exactly the same thing this year. Maybe. We'll see. Once I get a couple years under my belt, I'll know more. Hey, by the way, the number one selling item that I have is the HP Desk Jet at 119. Before it was the 8025. That one's, uh, you know, that one's at 209 right now. But for some reason, out of the blue, I didn't even see it coming. Number one item right now, HP Desk Jet. I guess it's because, I guess tax, I guess the tax season, it went crazy. They wanted the, the, the most affordable one, and that's exactly what happened. 119 is killing it, killing it. Hey, the little giant ladders at 256. We're in the time, you know, we're going we're gonna to get all that bad weather. The gutters are going to get clogged you're gonna have to go check your roof you're gonna have to paint the side of your house you might do painting inside you might need a ladder and one thing about little giant is that they do a good job of doing videos to show you how to use the ladder safely one thing i learned is that when you get my age you don't want to fall off a ladder so you better make sure you got the ladder right yeah you know when you're young you take some chances and then you fall you land on your feet but when you get a little older uh, the feet don't, uh, feet don't do too good when it hits the ground. Yeah. That's if you hit on your feet, you might fall on something else. Yeah. That's a, Hey, look, the iRobot Roomba. That's a pretty good price. 215. I'm not an expert at this stuff. I'm not, I'm not, but that's a pretty good price. I kind of kept it in there. Got 68,501 reviews. That's a lot for a, for a device that you have in your house. Yeah. Not our age. <laughs> Oh, Chuck. Yeah, uh, it don't. <laughs> when you fall, it's like when you <laughs> when you jump down three feet, you 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 feel like you fell off the house. Yeah. And it's only three feet high or two feet high. Don't don't jump and think you're going to you're going to land like you did when you were in high school. Ain't going to happen. Not going to happen. So you have to be definitely careful. My last robot vacuum sucked up my son's helmet. Grab it. 
Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, not too good. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not going to be the same thing. Okay. Well, here, here I'm at my last, the last deal, and then I got to go check on Calvin to see what he's up to. Uh, he said that he wanted to have a late night snack with me. It's twelve thirty. He's still up, so I might have to go check out that late night snack. I got the Vitamix fifty two hundred. One thing about that Vitamix, man, that thing's the real deal. That thing is strong. That thing will mix just about in. It probably. It probably mixed concrete. I mean, that thing that thing is really, really uh, heavy duty. No doubt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, jump out of a barn. Yeah, I don't think I would do that now. That would look so, that would look like you're 10, that would look like you're 25 feet up in the air. Not? No, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Yeah, and you know what happened? Uh, the bad thing too, the thing that happens though, is that if you break your leg or break your foot or, or sprain something, then you don't move. And then when you don't move, guess what happens? You spend a lot of time eating and you kind of get a little bigger and it even gets worse. So yeah, the last thing that the worst thing that could happen to me is uh I jump off of a ladder, fall off of a ladder, and then then uh, not be able to walk. Hey, Michael, how's it going? How in the world did you find me tonight? <laughs> you just happened to, you caught my, you caught the tail end, tail end. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to tell Calvin hello. Hey, the, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be the day. Tomorrow's going to be the day where we see if, uh, what is it? St. Peter's is going to make it to the, the final four. Uh, that, that'll be a big news story if it happens. Uh, the final four this year, I don't know, Michael, I don't know if you realize, but it's in New Orleans this year. New Orleans gets the final four. Um, and then the other thing, Michael, I did a, I did a giveaway for some food items today and we, we had, I had three winners today, three different winners. So I got back into my, uh, promotional thing. I, I haven't done it in a long time, but I figured, I figured, um, uh, I oh a little late shopping okay I got you uh the uh I started to think that Amazon's gonna be doing Thursday night football so I think I, I figured tonight I would start talking about some of the items that you could cook that you could fix for your uh for your uh Thursday night Amazon uh football NFL football parties that are coming down the road or 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 whatever parties you have for the final four next next uh week because i i think a lot of people will probably have a lot of a lot of visitors over and watch the watch the basketball games next week next weekend is gonna be a huge weekend especially if if the if the they uh let's see yeah i got um hold on just one second there just a second just a second yeah let me see what the yeah if st peter's makes the uh makes the the, the the final four it's gonna be even a bigger weekend because they they made it to the they made it to the final eight and that's the first time that uh what was it a 15 seed ever made it to the to the to the what they call it i forgot what they call it is it the final eight i think it's final eight yeah i'm not i'm not uh there's certain parts of the country that are really big into college basketball new orleans just happens to be a huge nfl football city yeah big huge football city uh the fact that the pelicans you know the fact that the jazz were here and then they left and then we got the hornets and then now we got the pelicans uh it's been you know it's it's kind of hard to compete against the saints the saints are kind of it so professional football is the big deal. And unfortunately, we never did get any major league baseball, and we probably never will. I don't think that'll ever happen. So, yeah. So there's uh, there's definitely a lot of parts of the country that are really big into next weekend for the Final Four. There's a lot of people that are probably end up in New Orleans next weekend. Uh, they might be lucky enough to get tickets. I bet your tickets are pretty expensive. I haven't priced them, but I'm sure that they are. All right. All right. I think that was it. I think that was it uh let's see let me see if i get back into my see if i get back into my carousel see if i get back yeah i'm back 
Peacock, peacocks all the way. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. It might happen. It might happen. Hey, so Michael, uh, thanks for uh, stopping in. I'm going to go see about having a late night snack with Calvin. Uh, Chuck, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I got Kmart Kelly. Thanks so much. Uh, I think screaming for ice cream. I think she went to bed already. I think she did. Teresa, I don't know if Teresa's still around. Uh, TWB, I don't know. Maybe TWB went went to bed. I don't know. Dale, thanks thanks for stopping in, Dale. Uh, Jeff, Sunny, I think Sunny went to sleep. I think she did. All right. Well, thanks so much for uh, hanging out tonight. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna go check out what's in check out and see what's in the kitchen. Yeah. So y'all take care. I'm gonna jump right on through the door as soon as I find the door. Oh, there's the door. Let me jump. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Have a good weekend. You got you got one more. Well, you got one more day left. See ya.